Hey, let's see. How are you doing today? I feel like there's something on the back of my mind But I'm okay I'm just um Promoting uh, the, the game we're gonna play today um, And then we'll play some Dark Souls after this This should take about an hour This is a demo Did I leave the stove on? No, no Usually I don't promote, but burning toast? Nope. Not that either, I'm afraid. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Milk can't open and not in the fridge. No. We'll be A-OK, -okay, I'm sure. Thank you. Probably just overthinking things as usual. Okay. Right. Uh, get rid of that. Yeah, so this is a visual novel game. This is a demo of a visual novel that Minima Laifu and Kales have been working on for, uh, I think, about two years. Um, so there's going to be a lot of dialogue. Um, but that's okay. I've got a little bottle of water with me. And then um, we're going to play Dark Souls Randomizer if the controller wants to cooperate. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I have a little bottle of water with me. Because there's going to be a lot of dialogue in this. Um, Truth be told, I might need to grab like a snack or some sugar or something because like lots of um, reading really tires me out. Um, but we'll see, we'll see, eh? Oh, there's a channel pots and hydrates. <laughs> don't, don't tell them about the water art scene. Also, I, I don't think I have a hydrate channel point redeem. <laughs> Hey, I guess I guess we'll get straight into this. I promoted it on Discord because um Hey, there you go, Art. So you're the first. You're the first today to redeem that. How does it feel? Do you feel good? Do you feel empowered? Do you feel dirty? <laughs> I feel first. <laughs> Wait, do you mean first or thirst? <laughs> So this is a little background towards this, uh, I've yawned already. God damn. Tips tea. <laughs> Distant leaps to Circinus is about a world of mysteries. A century has gone by since humanity nearly wiped out all, uh, wiped all life from the earth. Their lust for power and progress tempted them to tamper with an unknown entity and in turn brought forth an enigma of change. The weather, animals, physics, and even humans have up, had all taken new forms. What does the compass planet Circinus offer to the children who are born upon its lands? What is the true nature of the second sun? The lives of all living creatures are changed forever in an unforgiving world of rings. Enormous creatures roam the land, made up of every life that they were given. Crystals with entirely different elements bring functionality and mystery to the world. Land masses that triumph the continents of the past world, floating along an understood axis, an ununderstood axis, carrying the lives of millions with them. Children who can communicate in ways not known to anyone but them. Oh. Hey devilish, how you doing? Are you good? We're about to play a demo for a visual novel game, Minima Life, who Kales have been working on for about two years, I believe. Um, oh god, I'm yawning. Why am I so yawning? If you're interested in checking out the game at all, um, there you go, there, there's, you can play it for free there, and there's the Twitter, the official Twitter there. Um, 
It's going to take us about an hour. I love this rain effect, by the way. Um, take us about an hour, and then we'll play some Dark Souls afterwards. Let's uh, So let's get straight into it. Uh, have you had my morning coffee? No. I, I don't drink coffee very often. Um, yeah. <laughs> I drink caf uh, tea sometimes. But coffee, not very often. Good view tutorial, yeah. Oh gosh, you can move the mouse to the right side of the screen anytime for the sidebar. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Codex, save, load, skip, options. Nice, I like the graphics that they use. Left or right clicking will use the respective actions. Some buttons are like save and load up two actions. Oh, okay. Prologue. Let me know if the game's too quiet. I, I would like people to be able to hear the music. I'm doing good. Uh, just something nagging in the back of my mind, to be honest. How are you doing, Otaku? First of all, this first screen looks fucking awesome. Look at the artwork. Holy shit. Can I, can I up the, um, the volume of the game a little? Thank you, Crafter. Thank you for the look. I appreciate that. Weather effects. There we go. Is it too loud for y'all now? Hey, Gun. How you doing? There we go. Get a nice balance. I've disabled intense effects because uh, there was a warning about epilepsy at the beginning of the game. So I was like, hmm, just in case. <laughs> You want to talk? Um, I there's not much to say, honestly, Otaku. Um, I don't know what it is. There's something like the very back of my mind. I have no idea. Um, it might be just me trying to juggle so many like things at once. I've got lots of stuff in the background working on, and it's probably just it. So there's probably nothing to worry about, honestly. How are you doing, Gun? And Otaku, are you good? Um. Oh. I like the uh, ambient effects. A loud noise from outside rev reverberated through the dark room. Oh, it goes a while back after I found them. Oh, thank you, Otaku. Thank you. I. It's nice that we can like um, meet one another through like these. Uh, I'm not sure if circles is the right word. I don't know. Um, like through through a uh, networking and communicating with a uh, with a. Uh... Oh gosh. How many times have I yawned already? What is wrong with me? Um, through meeting new people, it's it's really lovely, eh? And and we met I met Much and Gun both through Sekiro. The door briefly swung open, then closed as a man stepped inside. He approached the computer and groped around for the on switch as he had done many times before. Hope whatever is going on, that beautiful man yours doesn't cause too much. I'll, I'll be fine. I don't mean to worry you guys. I just, I don't, I, I, I like, to, I try and be like pretty apparent with how I'm doing because like I, a long time ago, um, I would just lie up front about, about my, like where I am <laughs> and it's not good. So, um, uh, at least not for me. So I just try and like be f forthright, I guess. Uh, right, next line. The small monitor intimately flickered, flickered when he pressed the button, then came alive with a constant scramble of computer jargon and a low hum of electricity. The sudden blue light and sound always gave him a headache. He seemed much louder than the others would probably think. Ooh, I feel like the game's too loud now, isn't it? There we go. How are you doing, Gun? Are you, are you, uh... Are you good? The man squinted hard to make sure he could see the small white text on a button labelled REC for a record. After pressing it, a bright red room in use. Sign bathed the room in light. Okay. Something about the room's atmosphere fell off. The sky blue paint created a stark and comfortable contrast with two light sources. The only door had a faded red brown stain on it, which taunted the man. Oh. 
I'm doing good. Sorry, just about to get some. No, don't apologize. Honestly, Otaku, don't apologize. I appreciate you all being here. Like I've said, I said this before, but like seeing familiar faces is a is a really uh, heartwarming feeling on uh, on Twitch. Honestly, like like getting like raids and people like following a bunch is cool and great and lovely and it's it's nice to get raided it's nice to get new followers but the best thing is just when when people come back and uh, and when people come back kind of no matter what you're playing that's that's really the best honestly it's the best policy for sure i'm good glad you reached out to me earlier about plans again i'm defo down for that i need to look for a moment though i have to just have delivery. No worries, Gun. Take your time and thank you so much. Um, I look forward to it. Honestly, I think I think it could be fun. Um, yeah, I don't know when 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 it'll happen because I'm just juggling a lot of plates right now. I think, but definitely want to do that. Its presence almost seemed to threaten him, so he tried to forget, along with the reasons for it being there in the first place. I always say I would rather have five active chatters over 15 lurkers, but lurking is also fine. Yeah, absolutely. Like, lurking is great, right? Because it genuinely helps and it's appreciative because people don't have to, right? And raiding is, is lovely and f getting followers is lovely, but just just seeing familiar faces is, uh, is the best. Knowing that there's people like who are come hang out, kind of no matter what you're doing, you know? Like, even if I'm not a very good artist, seeing people come in regardless of that fact is really nice. With a sigh and scratch of his wild beard, the man sat in a worn out chair in front of the PC. A silver microphone was sitting there mere centers away from his lips. For a moment, the man sat in silence and stared at the flickering screen, watching the time elapsed text tick forward. Three minutes passed, then six, then twelve. I'm here just on call with a friend, no worries. It's all good, Mini. Don't you worry about it. Minima, chat, Minima is one of the people who did some of the artwork for this game. Um, I don't think she did this screen, but, because uh, it's not quite her style. But when we, uh, when we find her artwork, I'll let you know. It felt like time wasn't as precious as before. The entire room went still for a moment, then came alive again as the man finally cleared his throat, coughed into his hand and sighed once again. I don't do backgrounds, says Minnie. <laughs> she refuses to do backgrounds, chat. With a deep breath to steal himself, he tried to speak. The words seemed almost stuck in his throat. I'm sure you have all been waiting. If anyone sees this, but I admit it, I... Choked on his words and pushed back from his desk. The oh, hell. Why am I doing this? He stood up, but pain shot through his hand. Immediately, the man plopped back into his chair. A metallic bang resounded through the room as he slammed his fist on the computer desk. Damn it. I did want to kill myself, just like all the others. There, I fucking said it. I'm no hero. Not even the slightest. I'm weak. But the voice. It kept whispering in my head, telling me things. The damn thing keeps leading me around this metal bucket like a dog, always telling me that they need me. It doesn't stop there, though. It shows me these damn visions of what's going on below. All I can do is just sit here. Those images keep me going though. I thought I could be useful in some way if given the chance. Someone out there needs me. They, they need me. Even while I endlessly drift out here, I know it. I can't see them though, and they can't see me either, but we're connected. I just know it. Black migraine writhed in his head in response to the man vigorously tried to run pain away. Every single damn time, the voice, I'm not sure if it has gender or sex. It sounds so beautiful. What am I sure of though? Even if it's some kind of alien. I know this is all just a game to them or some kind of... An alarm rang out inside the room. Orange text with the words low power flashed scrolling across the room's top edges. Another sigh elapsed that escaped the man. I could have sworn I fixed those damn solar charges. I guess I got another pain in the ass to deal with. Pressed the save button, turned off the monitor, stood up from his chair. He grabbed a white, dark, dirt-stained coat from the floor and walked to the room's exit, gripping its cold handle. A brief final glance at the monitor showed his tired green eyes and brown hair. Traces of grey were started to show. I'm getting too old for this. When will I end?
Act 1. Rolling Waves. Oh, Act Rolling Waves, Chapter 1. Remember, hydrate, chat. What a coinky dink. Yeah, how you doing, Seven? You good? Oh, this is lovely artwork. Is this uh, Zeus or Zeus? Zeus felt like he had made an awful decision. His rumbling stomach was complaining about how he had forgotten to bring food. Doing good, just chilling. There you go. There's some artwork from Minima. Look at it. It's awesome. Can we play this later? Well, A7. There's the links for you. And for anyone else, you can play the game, the demo for free. And there's the official Twitter too. This music is lovely. Not bringing anything to stave off his hunger was, n was not his brightest idea. You already downloaded it? Good job. I'm not sponsored by the way, <laughs> just heads up. In case anyone was wondering, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Seven hours of walking, I didn't think to bring something to trade with. The minute, moment Minima posted it, good job, A7, good job. <laughs> Support your mum, eh? That sample of lizard meat wasn't bad, though. I could probably use something like that back home. Zeus rubbed his stomach as he walked down the seemed to be an endless dirt road. His head was on a swivel, looking at any tree that may have recently borne fruit. Unfortunately, the plains were the only surrounding scenery, except for a few pines dotting the landscape. The only food he saw was grass. He wasn't nearly desperate enough to stoop that low yet. I wanted to do something... forgot what I wanted to do. <laughs> I know that feeling, Seven. When the youth glanced upwards, he could see neither the sky nor the clouds. All that there was was the same blanket of grey that always covered the world. At least it's nice out. This wasn't as bad a break at all. Got a grind, a grind breath of the wild. Best of luck to you. And thank you for the luck. Look at this lovely artwork. The crisp air filled his nose with the scents of fresh grass and dirt. Nearby animals in hiding cooed to one another, causing a soft grin to come over Zaius. Over Zaius. Zaius? Zaius. It seemed the world was at peace. A rarity whenever it was, he was at home. Being out amongst nature was always better than babysitting, wasn't it? I'm glad I got enough to live off for the next week, though it really ha- Zaius su suddenly stopped in his tracks. Around the distance was something odd. An occurrence he thought was impossible. Is is that? Is that y yellow? He had only seen the colour in other children's eyes, animals and crystals. Even so, there it was. What? He shook a hand in front of his eyes, certain that they weren't playing tricks on him. Sure enough, it was real. There was colour amidst the world of grey that he was born into. A wave of radiant light soared through the sky. Though not in a straight beam, it stretched as far as the eye could see in thin shafts and ribbons. How is this po- Suddenly Zeus fell to his knees. As if the air had been knocked out of his body, he let out a deep gasp and grabbed at his deflated chest. His head was pounding and writhing. Once he gathered his energy, he turned around and searched for the reason why. There was no one as far as the eye could see. Even if there was, his vision was rapidly blurring. His reason was becoming muddled. But why? Why is my head... The boy tried scrambling to his feet, but the ground beneath him felt shaky. An earthquake? Breathing became harder, the more he tried to control it. Even if it was an earthquake, nothing explained the brain bursting pain in Zeus's head. The only sound was a loud rumble, so loud in fact, that he thought his eardrums would rupture. All thoughts were cut in half when another large burst of pain assaulted other parts of his head. Unable to bear the pain, Zez tried to crawl forward and find something to rest on. Slowly, one hand after another, the boy crawled on his hands and knees, but it was also a hassle, his whole body felt like he was made of lead. Hand after hand, Zez painstakingly gripped whatever he could and pulled. Everything hurt, but the more painful thing but the most painful thing was the migraine. He wanted to massage his head and rub it away if he could, but that would have only made things worse. With one hand on his head, and another dragging him along, he was soon mere seconds away from a resting place. Then... Hey Otaku, uh, about an hour, I'm told. About an hour. Mid-pull, he started to fall. 
the sudden drop made him fall forward. In an attempt to break his fall, Zish shot his arms outward. It didn't matter where he landed, so long as it was quick and painless, so his eyes squeezed shut. Thankfully, the fall was over just as quickly as it began. When Zeus opened his eyes, the first thing he saw was a sea of yellow lines spreading across the sky. There was a solid wall behind him. Everything felt heavy, so the only option was to watch the world overhead. As if he were looking at Rippling Puddle, he couldn't help but gaze into the mystery stretching out above. The longer he tried to burn the light's colour into his memory, the more his pain faded away. Eventually, all sound ceased too. Low and faint, there came an inexplicably, inexplicably clear voice against the silence. The words were so softly spoken, but despite the sound's clarity, Zeus couldn't understand their meaning. It wasn't a conversation though, in fact, upon closer inspection, the sentences weren't even coherent. The more he tried to make sense of them, the more drawn out and less sensical the words became. Singing, but who could... would. Abruptly, dozens of voices screamed into Zeus's ear, tearing him from his thoughts. Just gonna drink again. He tried plugging his ears, but it made no difference. The sound still pierced his eardrums. An urge to grab anything, anything at all, gripped his mind. The feeling of immense, throbbing pain and wild shake of the world rattled the youth's brain. Heart was leaping out of his chest, throbbing against his ribcage and growing faster by the second. I, 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 I can't, it hurts too much. His hand reached towards the sky. Zeus examined it, then continued stretching until he couldn't move any further. A sudden sensation gripped him. There was nothing there. When he tried to back off, he simply couldn't. A sudden tug raised the youth slightly. His eyes widened with fear as the force pulled him toward the unknown. The last thing Zeus saw was a ripple of yellow light. Yeah, super good, isn't it? Dreaming usually felt strange, but what Zeus saw was incredibly vivid. Oh, catch my breath. Oh, God. Visions of people he did not know stood in massive groups, all staring into the sky with wide eyes. What are they looking at? When he tried following their gazes, a sudden migraine ensued. Trying to peer back was impossible. It felt like his neck would be snapped if he turned even one degree more. Migraine was different. The pain never came from the temples or the sides of his head, but instead felt more internal. It feels like a warning. I, I, I don't understand. What, what is this? Zeus gave in to the warning bells going off in his head and stared forward. Everything immediately in front of him was blurred, like looking through a foggy, silent, cooled window. When he tried reaching his hand toward the people, he felt nothing. Does, does this just stretch on forever? It seems so real. Suddenly the figure's eyes widened and a couple of them stumbled back. Others turned around completely and began to run. A few simply stood there in their arms raised, frozen just calling out to whatever is in the sky. Oh! Are those people praying? In an instant, dust and debris covered their bodies. The cloud of grey consumed surrounding structures and soon filled Zeus's vision. What the? I've never seen people like that before. What were those clothes? What were they looking at? Hey Pengo, how you doing? Are you good, Pengo? We're, we're playing. Um, we're playing a demo that Minima Lifeu and Kales worked on. I think they worked on this for two years. Uh, so we're playing this demo. Uh, I know there's someone there. I can just feel it. Zeus began scrambling for any kind of exit, but every time he tried to look over his shoulder, he felt that same now familiar pain in his head. Movement was impossible too, as if someone was holding him down. What happened to them? Where is this? All good, finally finished some of the bits, so I can come out of the look. Oh, the bits? Finish some of the bits? Hey, no worries, Pango. I uh, I hope your work's not pushing you too hard, dude. I know you've took it like a week off stream because of work. Oh, I keep you on it, I'm so sorry. Oh, you're off today? Glad to hear it, dude. Glad to hear it. Silence. I, um... I, I finished um, 
New Game Plus Zero Revives Shura ending. And I started practicing on a speedrun. I think I'm on New Game Plus 24. Oh, I did no, I, um, no R1 on Sekiro as well. Like, no R1 except Death Blows and Revives. Um, I finished that run as well. That was New Game Plus 24, 23. And then I started practicing a speedrun. Thank you, Pango. Sorry, I forget. I forget. <laughs> I forget these things. As he sat in the darkness, the youth couldn't tell what fired his curiosity. Most people would have only felt fear and wished for it to end. But he wanted to know where he was and why. The pounding sensation in his brain was the last thing he remembered before the world went dark once again. Contrary to his situation, Zeus could not shake the yawn that skipped his mouth. Same. His interest in figuring out why, why he was there was fading. A wave of sleeplessness began to eat at him. Trying to keep his eyelids open proved more difficult each second. The last thing he could see before letting go was the grey fog disappear in front of him, and he presented with an enormous inferno of orange. Crap. <laughs> a, a ball of fire? The, the sun? Day's thoughts collapsed, with the only sight he could see was darkness. His consciousness was still present. Moving was impossible, so was opening his eyes or speaking. The only thing he could do was listen. There was no sound except the quiet mumblings of an incoherent voice. <sighs> Gibberish is what his mind translated it to. At the time, he had no opinion on the matter. His thoughts were too muddled. He did have one thing pointed out to him in front of the myriad of voices. From the myriad of voices. It was the word. Collection. Droplets of rain slowly pelted on his face, but his face and body. He didn't react to anything until the loud crack of thunder pierced his ears. His eyes quickly shot open in surprise. Having forgot where he was, he did a quick body check to make sure nothing had happened to him while he slept. When he checked his side, a sharp pain shot through him. What? Put a hand down to give himself a more comfortable position. First thing he felt was his hand sink into a pool of water. The more he moved, the more he could feel the weight of the clothing that had weighed him down. Hey Mamba, how you doing? You good? I'm an idiot. Now I'm soaked and hurt because of a, a nap. No, what's wrong Mamba? You just woke up. <laughs> but you could be worse, right? Nothing serious. Built around for anything that may, may have stuck him in his sleep, and to no surprise, he felt the sharp edge of a stone sticking out, out right next to him. Oh, you just feel bad. Oh, maybe take a nap later, Mamba. Get some food in you. Of course, why would I lay next to something like that? He lifted his shirt slightly to confirm. A clean line of blood slowly dripping, dripped horizontally from his wound. A sigh escaped his mouth. He was too hungry to feel like anything about finding a way to cover his coat. Filled his pockets, looking for one thing that could help him, help him until he reached toward her bra. <laughs> I think I need a nap. <laughs> you might be right, Otaku. You might be right. Then he remembered. He had none to aid him. His body suddenly lurched forward when a gust of wind dipped down into the hole. Dirt and droplets of water swirled around him. It was futile to try and look anywhere until a sudden draft died down. Once it did, he paid more attention to the surrounding area from where he was. His ears picked up on the sounds of close and distant thunder. The rustle of trees and nearby shrubbery was loud enough to clue the curtain of rain approaching him. It felt like too much st stimuli to try and pay attention to it all. Cold wind once again travelled through the narrow hole and assaulted his skin. Shivers crawled down his spine and rendered him immobile briefly. I should have paid more attention to the weather. He coughed into his hands and stood up. Just as tall as the hole he'd slept in, the draft from the top rustled his brown with hair wildly. This is awesome, this artwork. He could already feel the storm begin to pick up as small amounts of dirt and rain flew over his head. I've been through worse. But still, I have to walk through this. Once he let out his complaints internally, he grabbed the ledge to himself to lift himself out. When he did so, he could feel the cut in his hide throb with every inch he lifted himself. Not even that deep, why does it hurt so much? I feel like I had some more, other, more pressing pain though. Pulling himself out of the hole was not difficult, in mere seconds he was already free. 
Welcome back, Gun. Did you get your chest of drawers? He felt relieved that the hole wasn't deeper anymore and a small cut wouldn't be the only thing to worry about. The rain was getting heavier by a second. He needed to move, proceeding to walk toward a road. A large gust of wind pushed dirt in his eyes. Let me know if the, the audio is too loud for you, uh, uh, you guys all. Yeah. He rubbed his eyes vigorously until he could see. I need to get somewhere safe or else I might end up sick. Or even worse, I could... A flicker of light bobbed up and down slightly far ahead of him. Red. No, no. Is, is that orange? Is it a child? Maybe an animal or an... Abnormal. His body tensed and his heart felt like a steam engine. He didn't expect to run into anything with low sightings of animals and monstrosities, but he felt dumb for not even bringing a weapon. Fairly easy delivery, in and out, just around the corner. Sounds good. Oh. Did, uh, did chat see I got Little Nightmares 2, by the way? So no spoilers for Little Nightmares 2. Due to his complacency, he thought he may have to fight something that could kill him. Is this a puzzle or those novel story games? Oh, it's a visual novel game, Mamba. So this is the this is the demo for the game Minima and Chaos of work we're working on. I think it took two years for the demo, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you can download it for free if you want to try it out. Or oh, there's the official Twitter there. Um, yeah, Minima Laifu is the characterized, and Chaos is the the writer and programmer. Um, I'm not sure who did the background art. When Minima's back, uh, she'll, she'll let you know. I'll stream it. It sounds awesome, Mamba. I'm just enjoying the reading. We played Doki Doki Literature Club on, on stream before Otaku with Minima and Smin and a bunch of others. And we all voiced to different characters and it was really fun. Um, <laughs> it got really crazy at times. <laughs> Looks really good. Won't be getting it myself, but I assume you're streaming it in the future, so I'll be there. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll probably give it a shot. I'm, I'm interested so far. It's a little difficult, like, soloing all the dialogue myself, but... But I'm sure we could, uh... uh... We can get through it. Zayas bowled his hands into tight fists, ready to fight whatever and whoever would walk through a storm. The orange hued dot slowly bobbed up and down as it approached him. There was the occasional blinking that Zayas took notice of. Those guys don't blink that often. Maybe just a child. They would have done something by now if they were abnormal. There was nowhere for him to hide, aside from a small tree, but it wasn't thick enough to conceal him. I guess I'll just have to talk to them. Honestly, I tried to avoid streaming heavy reading games. <laughs> it's, it just makes me very sleepy. But um, considering how long Minnie's worked on this and Kale's has worked on this, I, um, I wanted to do something for them. With that thought in mind, he was ready to try and yell, but the overbearing sound of thunder and rain was too much. I can't even hear myself. Fine, maybe they can make out a hand signal from there. He raised a hand into the air and mentioned, monitored for them to stop. When he did so, the 200 dots stopped moving and dimmed a bit. I know what you mean though, Taku. Like, I would like to play Twilight Princess on stream. Ooh, I want to play Twilight Princess on stream, but there's so much dialogue in that game. <laughs> Oh. Are they squinting? With a wave of a hand, he attempted to make a friendly gesture. It was a useful, useless effort though, since everything in front of him was a grey mess. Trying to discern anything outside of this range was futile. Whoever they are, they at least know why that I'm here. One of the eyes disappeared. A long range signal? Aha. Huh. Guess that means they want to talk from there? Okay, got it. Zaius looked directly into the eyes, focusing slowly on the inner light that seemed to be looking at his. The girl's voice as clear as day began to speak, her words resonated within his mind. I almost didn't notice you. Nice. A voice that would never been heard so far away, such heavy rain continued. Are you abnormal? Zaius had to convey his words too. He posed the will of his words through the faint light of his eyes. No, why? I felt someone watching me while I slept a while ago. They're always out there. Watching. You could hear a slight hostility in her voice. Sleep out here? Who would do something like that? Sorry, no. They're just grey and I don't have any cracks in my eyes. I haven't seen any of the children so far, especially abnormals. 
I might try it one day. I always wanted to try a sort of voice acting type thing. Go face cam, no overlays. Just a deep story game. I, I think it's fun, Gun. It's especially fun when you got people, like, with you to voice characters. But then, like, in my opinion, it, like... You need, um... You don't want to have too many characters. So when we did Doki Doki, there's a total of five characters. And it was great and easy. And then Papa Seven was like, we should do, like, an Otome game. Which is like the main character is a is a girl surrounded by handsome boys, and I thought that's hilarious. We'll do that. I got my hands on one, and there was so many characters introduced within like 20 minutes. We just backed out because we just couldn't keep up, we, even with like three or four people, whatever it was on mic. Holy hell! Uh, and I thought about doing like a boy love one. I thought it'd be fun, but I couldn't find a boy love one that was like light-hearted enough. Just enough lewd, not too lewd, and had not too many characters. Um, yeah, it was it was rough. <laughs> I yeah, I found one I thought I was gonna play. Um, but jeez, have you played Asako Academy? I've never heard of it, Mamba. What what's that game? I remember you mentioned this the other day as well. Hey, Paint, how's it going? How you doing, Paint? We're going to be playing Dark Souls later, Paint, but we're going to be going through this visual novel demo first. Um, yeah, man, that <laughs> that BL game I found good. Ooh, holy cow. It's an old visual novel game. Oh, I don't know it. If, if you can drop me a link in Discord, Mamba. Going well and nice. Glad to hear it, Paint. How far did you get in Dark Souls? That's so. You talk normal enough. You could hear the hostility leave her voice. She sounded more approachable than before. You beat Sif. Good job. Good job. Based on a YouTube group. Huh. Never heard of it. Sounds interesting. Congrats on Sif. Um, I don't know if you know this paint, but Sif has a different intro cinematic dependent on whether you fight Sif before or after the DLC. Wave of... Oh. I'll pull that up and I'll, I'll have a peek at that later. I'll have to have a look at that later. Thanks, Mambo. Where's my game? There it is. Oh, I know of the KFC one, yeah. And that is neat. Where is the DLC? Um, it's... It's hard to explain how to get to it, but I can do my best to paint. Um... So the Hydra that is in the basin... Um, you know in the forest the base of the forest you kill the the hydra you hug the very left wall you go all the way around to the very very back and you'll see a special golem you kill the golem, you talk to the lady you teleport to the duke's archives you kill the golem in the duke's archives you get a pendant, you go back to where you fought the previous golem, you get taken to the DLC this one of the top ten of all times in my heart. Absolutely. What what a what a boss. What a character. A wave of relief washed over him. She didn't seem like she meant harm. If you're on this road, did you come for did you come from Don't Don't? No, I only came from the forest near here near there to visit the merchants. She paused, but didn't continue. A blink was the only thing signifying she was still there. The Hydra skills you. The Hydra like the water blasts are a big pain in the ass if you can like hide behind rocks and kind of run and work your way down if you get close enough to the hydra it will do a melee attack and if you um if you're close enough and you have your got your shield up you can stand in locations where it will not be able to hit you uh, and then you can just like just poke its heads until they fall off when you see it shooting all the warrior yeah fucking book it <laughs> i just suck well, this is awkward. If you don't mind me asking, do you have any herd wrap? I have a cut and I need to get going so I don't get sick. Her silence continued for a few seconds, then she broke eye contact. The brightness of her orange pupils returned soon after. I have enough to give you if you're hurt. You didn't carry on any on you? Zayas checked his pockets just to make sure. Nope. I had some earlier in the day, but I'm sure I dropped it long ago. Hmm. I see. I'll bring it to you a bit then, if you don't mind. Of course not. Alright. 
She started to move toward her or toward him, her orange glow growing bigger with every start step. If he had to guess, she may have been 100 meters away. He felt like judging distance color was a lot easier than before. Judging distance color. Even a couple of miles away was easy to spot if the other children were coordinate enough when they tested her. While Zaius waited for her to approach him, he couldn't help but remember the other colors of children he'd seen before. The ones he had trouble with were shades closer to black, but that was hard for most children. I wonder if Eloy is doing good. His fearless friend popped into his mind for a second. He didn't think about him long before. He didn't think about him long before he knew it. The girl was close enough to where she could make out her silhouette. The clothing she wore flapped in the wind, especially the hood that covered her head. The sound of her splashing water was audible, and he could hear the droplets of rain hitting her jacket. I need to slow down, I think. Oh, well, there you go, chat. Minima, Minima Life, who did this character artwork. There you go. She does the character art. The girl faded into view for Sears, emerging from the sea of clouds ahead of him. The vivid orange eyes she had were deep and radiant to Zeus, much brighter than any other child's eyes he'd seen. Minima cameo. <laughs> Her hair draped over her forehead in a low, wild ball. The tips of her hair were deep orange, but only looked like a slight shade of grey to him. Unable to point out specific features, it was a hassle any time you wanted to ask questions or needed to point things out. She held a stoic look upon her face, as if she were uninterested in anything going on. Not much, ex uh, not much for expression, huh? With her blank look, she held out her hand, holding what presumed was the herb wrap. The girl looked into his eyes, and he stared back. Here. Dead through the world of will, the word of will, the rap emitted a faint glow from her clenched fist. Zaius held out his hand, and she placed it in his palm. He gave a small nod. Thank you. This, this means a lot. The girl furrowed her brows as if he'd brows, as if he'd said something strange. She shook her head and looked at him. Welcome home. Hey, John. Scorpion! Thank you for the raid. How, how are you doing? How was the stream? You Genshin Impact? Oh yeah, you're, you're on the Genshin, the Genshin, Genshin hype. I kept saying it with an M. Oh my gosh. Who's your favorite character? Stream was good. I'm glad to hear it, Scorpion. Thank you for the raid. I, I'm just chilling, um, playing this demo that Minima's been working on with Kales. Yeah, who's your favorite character? I will have to Google who that is. Diona. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, you dog. I see. I see, I see how it is, Scorpion. I see. I see you. Um, yeah, if you want to play the, this demo, this visual novel demo, um... There's, you can download it for free, and there's the official Twitter there also. Um, I guess I should introduce myself for those who in the raid. So I play challenging games typically a lot of the time. Um, there you go. This this is actually wrong. This needs updating. Let me change this because I did update it. There you go, version three. So yeah, it's just an example of the stuff I do. Um, I beat Sekiro using my right hand. I've done zero revives, Shira ending, zero revives, Immortal Severance, no healing items, uh, no charm, Demon Bell, no hood, no charm, Demon Bell. Um, I've got my current speed run time on New Game Plus 23, something like that, down to like 51 minutes. Um, yeah, that's, that's kind of what I do. Difficult games. Um, but right now we're doing this visual novel. And uh, later, today, we're going to play more Dark Souls randomizer. That's that's going to be an adventure. We take care of each other. We No need to thank me. Adults and abnormals are the only things you can't trust. I don't know if you remember Infkama. Uh, I recognize the name, yeah. Uh, oh no, friend of mine, his favorite Klee. His favorite is Klee because I quote, she's kawaii AF and OP. Wait, I'm going to Google this character. I don't, I don't play Genshin. Um, I know there are characters that I like the design of. Oh, I see. 
Oh, I see how it is. <laughs> Yo, my favorite characters are by far like the mature witch lady and the, the lady who dresses in white and summons rocks. And then there's like a red lady who has like an eye patch. They're, they're the best ones, I'm just saying, just saying chat. With that statement, she took her leave. <laughs> Without giving him time to form a thought, she walked past him, turning into a blurry silhouette as she disappeared into the storm. Zeus could only stare into the grey abyss she walked into, with one thought in his mind. Weird. <laughs> Zeus turned away from the travelling girl's direction. He jogged up to a small tree he saw before. It wasn't much for cover, but it was better to apply the wrap without getting it too wet. Yeah, so there's a character, she, she dresses in red and she has an eye patch, I think in Genshin Impact? I'm pretty sure. I could be mistaken. I don't, I don't play it. I, I might be I might be imagining that character. It might be just that like Genshin needs to make a character like that. He lifted his shirt to see if his cut got any deeper. It doesn't look that bad, but better safe than sorry. After applying the small strip of wrap, he could feel a bit of the heat from the small crystals reacting to his blood. The faint light he gave off was only a faint shadow to him. Good. I shouldn't have to worry about that now. Now then, only 10 more miles to go. There's nowhere to really take a break here. The animals would probably kill me if I tried camping out here. Hopefully I don't get a fever or something before I get back. Won't be able to fight anything like that. While he searched his brain for a plan, a loud scream rang into the distance. Yeah. Immediately, Zaya snapped toward the sound. His heart began to pound from the sudden yell. A man. Someone being attacked? Should I help? The confines of the road were all he could see, with nothing else to look at than the blur other than the blurry grey walls. He tried to listen for another scream for our animals. I don't hear anything. I don't see anything either. Where did it come from? While he faced the direction of where he thought the yell came from, he heard the sound of water splashing behind him. Now got closer before he could turn fully. Along with a pulse of orange light, he assumed that it was the same girl that he saw only moments ago. Is she running towards the screen? The sound of her ragged breath rushed towards him. Within a few seconds, she flew by him, just barely out of sight on the road. She quickly vanished from his sight. Beido, oh, is that? Yeah, she's badass. Beido, the witch lady. Uh, the like the the tall witch lady. And then there's a, a lady who dressed in like a white and she like summons stones. Those are the best ones. How does she know where to go? The scream had at least one, to be 1,000 or more meters away. Being able to see farther would really help at a time like this. Whatever, I could probably follow the sound of her footsteps, but do I really want to help? Another scream echoed distantly in the open plains. Ah, fine. Zaius looked down the road and sighed. His shoes, shoes weren't the best fit for running in mud. But it would have to be I have to do given the situation. He started to run after the girl's footsteps. Speed was something he had confidence in. Even if he couldn't see his legs would take him somewhere. The rain blinded him even more than but her footsteps were a good enough clue to navigate with. After a while of occasionally losing her footsteps to thunder and rain, he eventually saw her outline. The hood she wore no longer covered her head and bounced away with every step she took. A little more speed was all it took for him to catch up to her side. The girl looked at him with the same stoic look she had before. Her hair was soaked with water dripped down her face. <laughs> Wait, is that is that officially on the character description? Or is that the character description? Because I don't think that's the character description I gave. <laughs> She looked into his eyes, customary for children like them. I'm sure you heard the scream too. There's a marker in the distance. <laughs> Look at her little expression. I didn't think of that. Not that I would have seen much anyway. I didn't see it, but I heard the scream. How far do you think it is? The girl looked into the sky. A pillar of light danced in a circle with colors of purple and green. She looked back at Zeus with an almost irritated look. <laughs> I love her like absolute zero like motion about 1000 meters in the official appearance section <laughs> Genshin man they uh they know how to market the the stuff I guess Zeus felt a sense of accomplishment 
Looks like I was right. He gave himself a mental pat on the back. That's a bit far. We might not make it. We might make it. When he gazed into the sky, he saw nothing but a faint, very faint contrast that would have been too difficult to observe. As he looked back at the girl, he couldn't help but wonder why she didn't speak with her mouth. It was strange to him, considering they had to look each other while running. I'll be lurking, go to cook now. Yo, thank you so much for the lurk, Scorpion. Um, let us know what you're cooking when you get back. Um, Scorpion does like cooking streams on occasion, by the way, chat. She's a bit strange, but she doesn't seem like a bad person. Another scream rang out in the direction of the marker, but it did not s but, but it did not contain the deep shriek of a man's voice. It was instead the voice of a young child. After hearing the high-pitched cry, the girl and Zeus began to pick up their pace. Cotellini with an Napolitana sauce? That sounds good. Uh, what is tortellini? It's like pasta, right? Sounds good, though. Tomato sauce. Hey. Cream stream's always cool and very informational. Yes. Fucking points for me. Pog. <laughs> pasta stuff with beef. Damn. I uh, I had to have a fight with a tin can before <laughs> before stream. So I tried to eat before stream to give myself a little more strength, right? And it had like, you know the pull, the pull clip that like, um, you know, it's like a, a tin, right? And you can like cut off the top. It wasn't one of those. It had like a pull ring. That's what I'm looking for. A pull ring so the, the lid comes off. The pull ring snapped off. So I had to take a knife and like bash the fucking can open with this fucking knife. <laughs> but I won. And I got my food. <laughs> the girl cut off from the road and ran through the plane. Zeus followed suit. Farther in front of them was a small patch of trees. A brief flash of light pulsed from that direction. A young girl next to him saw the flash and narrowed her gaze to where it appeared. Oh man. He wished it could see farther, but the expression was good enough to guess what was going on. As the children ran through the wet grass and slick mud, Zeus had trouble keeping his foot straight. Footage straight. I can feel the mud slipping into my shoes. Eh. After running for another minute through the plains, the girl abruptly stopped in front of Zeus. A small patch of trees was straight ahead. Zeus sto stopped as well and looked at her confused. She stooped down into a low crouch and pulled Zeus down with a tug on his shirt. He got pulled behind a nearby rock. He guessed it was for cover. Oh shit. I remember watching Minima work on this piece. Hey, there you go, that's Minima. She's, she's the character artist on this game. I remember work her working on these characters. On this specific scene. After he was forcibly squatted down, a loud crack sound came from her head. Hey, Udon. You remember it as well? That's awesome, dude. How are you doing today, Udon? Has to be something dangerous. What is it? The only details you could see were three vague shadows. The loud crack was a man swinging an axe, which had gotten lodged into a nearby tree. The man tried pulling the axe free from the tree's bark, but he seemed to have trouble removing it. The male adult had skinny arms, and his clothing was consisted of plenty of te tears and rips. Having an occupational crisis as a student. Why? What's up, Udon? Are you struggling to find, like, um, a, a job or a vacancy? Oh, sorry, hi. Not much yawning today. His pants had a gaping hole in that looked like they were burned through. Underneath it, his skin was blistered and red. Oh, thank you for the host, Minnie. Thank you very much. Guys, I gave Minnie a shout out earlier, but if you don't know Minnie, she did the uh, the character art for this this demo we're playing today. Um, and you can play the demo for free if you'd like. And there's the official Twitter there also. The cause of the man's damage had to be the only had to be the only dangerous creature. Had to be the only dangerous creature. Are you seriously? Mostly related to how I learned as a student, how uh, this entire pandemic has affected me. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Udon. I'm a, I'm a very slow learner myself, and I learned differently from my colleagues. And, uh, man, it was not easy. So, yeah. My boss had to, like, learn how to teach me, because the methods she used to teach my colleagues didn't work for me. Hey, no worries, many. 
A silver sheep shaking its head and grunting at the man, white puffs of smoke blowing from its nostrils. Dace can only listen in on the events that happen in front of him. Far with those sounds though, it's obviously some type of animal. She should know what's going on. As he was about to put her hand on the girl's shoulder and ask for details, a cry from the young boy. A young boy they heard earlier rang out. He peeled him and the girl toward his direction. Oh shit, I remember this one. A glow of purplish green light surrounded the boy's small body as he lay on his hands and knees looking at the sheep. One rough crystal sat on the ground next to him, slowly pulsing with colours. Its light dimmed as time went on. The silver sheep was pointing in his direction, stamping its feet. His small eyes looked for a way out. The boys the boys met with the children hidden nearby. Hey Cupcake, how's it going? This is Minimus, yeah, yeah. Cupcake. This is um This is the, the demo for the game uh Kales and Minima were working on. You can download it for free there. Or check out the official Twitter. I'm just having sort of realization on my second semester that there's there's that. I just wanted to chill. Oh, sorry, you done. Try and um, try and just um, have a nice quiet day, I guess. Eh? But it was that uh, is fantastic. Her character is phenomenal. Days could see the boy's yellow pu pupils looking his direction. He couldn't make out what the boy was doing. Is he scared? I can't hear his words. From the corner of his eye, the finger a finger comes up to the girl's lips and she made a shushing gesture. She was looking in the child's direction and pulled out a knife from her coat. No you, thank you. I didn't do the background though. I have a secret from Minima, don't tell wait, never mind. <laughs> How are you doing, Cupcake? You good? Minima, don't tell anybody, but Cupcake has a massive crush on you. Was he about to say something? Phew, thankfully she caught that. She's armed too. I'd say I'm lucky I wasn't alone though when this happened. Rushing in, rushing it wouldn't go as well as the times before. <laughs> Got a crush on everyone. <laughs> oh, I doubt, I doubt Cupcake has a crush on me. The man had finally freed his axe from the bark of the tree. Don't you touch that boy, you damn sheep. The man yelled as he charged at the sheep a few inches away. The sheep quickly dodged without even a glance from behind. His axe missed when and flew with enough momentum to get lodged into the ground. Oh god. Aggravated, the sheep snorted and shook its body. Large amounts of light wool swirled in the wind and stuck to the man. With another angry grunt, the animal's wool ignited and set the surrounding area on fire. A desperate look on his face, the man tried to pat off the pieces of burning wool. It stuck to him. The wind only added more to them, and the rain only made them stay much longer. King is here so he has a crush on you ghost. Nah. Maybe if you had a cam. <laughs> nah, cupcake. Sometimes he uses a cam, but not often. Not often. I I had a hand cam once. There's been a lot of snow. It's been really cold. We had snow a few weeks ago. Ab cam. Oh, ab cam. Oh no no. <laughs> I used to have abs. Not anymore. <laughs> A bright flash of light lit up the sky. Zeus only saw the quick pulse of grey that was the man's body being set on fire from the explosion. Snow is like tiny pellets of ice. Oof. That's that's hail, right? When it's painful, that you they call it hail. The explosion from the silver sheep lit up the sky with a blinding orange light. A quick yelp escaped the man's mouth when his body was repelled backwards. I am considering having abs for good midriff. I mean abs look great, in my opinion, Mini. Slippery on the parking lots. Oh, take care out there, okay? Cupcake, take care. Yeah, absolutely great on people, I think. The blast knocked him back into the very same tree his axe got stuck in. A brief thud was heard, and soon after his body slumped over. The residue of firewall rained from the sky, extinguished one after another until there was none left. I mean, I'll probably not do it, says me. Mini, what? <laughs> Did you know I played Sekiro Mini and every death I had to do 30 push-ups? Did I tell you about that? I uh, I did it, I played it for like 4 hours and had to do like 150 push-ups. <laughs> no one can drive because of cars. Oh no, push-ups is not for abs, it's like for arms. For arms, but yeah. Cars are covered in so much ice. Oh. Be careful, Cupcake. 
A push up is like. It can help with abs, says Mambo. Well, there you go. I, I wouldn't know. I don't really have the, the knowledge on, on working out. <laughs> Listen to break all the ice. I want abs. Let's go get, get some abs. Just just work out. I wonder you can beat things with one hand. No wonder you can beat things. <laughs> yeah, no. I just have large hands, Mini. That's all. <laughs> but it doesn't give you abs. The sheep's horns reflected light from its tiny nearby flames, showing its fierce elongated pupils. It turned away from the unconscious man and looked toward the direction of the quivering child. Exercise in general, says Mambo. There you go. Minima is pretty, says Cupcake. Cardio. Oh, Mini, I told I told Saf about that clip, by the way. I, uh, I was, <laughs> I told... <laughs> I told Saf that you wanted to kiss her feet and she was like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you told her she's not teaching. She just hides it really well. Uh, she hides it extremely well. <laughs> it's the boo boo song. Kiss the penny. It's okay, Minnie. I I honestly know what you mean. I promise. I know. What, I knew exactly what you meant the first time you said it. It's just funny to tease. <laughs> <laughs> it's the fastest but it just removes the fat around the abs and not build abs oh okay oh cardio you got the prettiest voice says menu i got a clip of um of gunvalda saying how i'm a wonderful man and if he was a gay man that he would <laughs> if you're out there gun you're awesome The purplish green haze of light around the crystal was fading. It looked like it would cut out at any moment. With this small yellow pupil, with his small yellow pu pupils, the boy looked at the animal in the eyes and made a whimper. Step by step, the sheep walked forward, approaching the small child. Air escaped from its nostrils, warmed air making puffs of smoke. But it put its hostility up for display. <laughs> True. <laughs> You're wonderful, gun. But then removing stomach fat is probably the hardest thing to do. Yeah? Oh my. Oh shit, it got closer, chat. I didn't even notice that. A large gust of wind came from behind the children, hidden behind the rock. The silver sheep stopped in its tracks. It lifted its nose into the air and looked upwards, straight toward the girl and Zayas hidden behind the rock. Because there's no real target area. Ah, I see. It's just one of those progress over time things. Just gotta be to uh, stick to it. Yeah, be determined. The sheep moved side by side to side, trying to get a look behind the rock without getting too close. As soon as they saw the sheep was aware of their direction, the two of them moved over to hide. Why now? We need to move. I don't want to end up as charred meat on my week off. <laughs> Baby sheep. Zayas looked at the girl who sent, seemed tense. Hey, put a hand on her shoulder. Any ideas? Her eyes were wide for a second, but she quickly lowered them and sighed. Can you go around the rock and distract it? They don't look like a sheep. That don't look like a sheep. Her eyes looked into this, into his. We might be able to get that sheep off guard. She finally spoke, huh? But of all the things to say, and the sheep too at that. It's most likely silver too. They're the only ones that ever attack like that. It's a devil go, oh damn. Well, uh, I think we're gonna kill it. And then what? I don't have any weapons if it comes charging at me. Hey Polish, I ghost the ghost to a ghost. I am a ghost. How are you doing Polish? Fire sheep according to chaos. Yeah, it's like a Pokemon. Here, she presented him with a wet muddled stone. It's mutated. Oh, oh, spoilers. Throw this at it. You don't need to hit it. You should be surprised when I try and throw my knife at it. Must be a fire bender. <laughs> Yo, if, if you could be any bender, in like avatar which element would you choose and you only get one i'd i'd go over like earth i'd get 100 percent earth but you, you get like the sub the sub type so you got like fire and a lava sure and you got fire and metal earth because it makes you a crap ton of money hey mamba big brain <laughs> i just like earth as an element hey angenity how you doing Yo, I hope school's going good for your Angenity. If your chat doesn't know Angenity, right? Hey, Angel. 
Let me give Angenity a shout out. There you go. Angenity does some fucking awesome waifu artwork. She's lovely and she's really, really funny. Because you can shoot lightning. Oh, oh, you'd rather be fire because you shoot lightning. Damn. Yeah, it's very true. I'd get water. You can move the blood from your enemy's body. Oh, that's disgusting, Mini. <laughs> Airbender so I can freeze myself. Oh, why, why would you want to freeze yourself, Udon? Please do check out Angenity. Uh, you will see some of her artwork above me in the stream. Um, it's the one where uh, Hachishaku-sama is like... <laughs> Almost falling out of her top. Earth, I'd never walk again, says Pain. That's a good shout. <laughs> I'd go for Earth Element as well. Oh, look at that one. <laughs> School is stressed me out, and I just say, oh god, Angenity, take it easy. Take, take, a, take a break if you need a. Have a nap. You can move relatively fast regardless of the element. Yeah, imagine, yeah. I need to take 200 year break from the world. Oh, wow. <laughs> Udon, oh yeah. I hope you're gonna be okay. Well, it's not like it's a bad, uh, that bad of a plan. Hitting them from far away is pretty much the only thing that works with, with a rock. All right, let's do it then. Zez grabbed the rock from her hand. On the count of three, I'll go this way. The girl shook her head in agreement. Both of them want their respective sides and readied themselves for action. They looked at each other in the eyes. Their pupils glowed slightly. One. Oh shit, the music. That music. A brief sound of thunder cracked through the air. Two. This is dope. Gusts of wind blew from behind them. Beautiful. Ange, thank you so much, Ange Jenny. Thank you, Ange. Who needs to punch Ange? Wait, what? Why would you punch Ange Jenny? Oh, who, who do you need to punch, Mamba? Thank you so much, Angenity. Udon, I hope you enjoy the emotes. And uh, for those of you who don't know, we have some pretty dope, better TTV emotes and uh, and stuff as well. Uh, you can have that emote for free. <laughs> Someone messed with my queen. Oh, I see. I see how it is. Where my girl? <laughs> you can uh, you can combo that emote with all sorts of funny stuff. I love it. Gusts of wind blew from behind them. Three. They both turned their heads and ran sparsely out in the open. Punch my teacher, they give me brain pain. Are you, are you all right though, Ange? Like really, are you okay? The sheep stepped back, rearing its head at the sudden movements. Zeus only needed to do one thing, at least draw the sheep's attention. The only problem was how far he could see. Oh my god. <laughs> what, what's up, Mini? I only need a small hint. He was already in farm. He was already more than a few yards from from the rock when he started. The chicken head. Oh yes. At least not or something. I just needs I just need something. With no way to tell whether or not it was even looking in direction, a taunt was all I could think of. Hey, we don't... it's now chicken booby woman. Oh no. What have we done? I put one of Sai. You know Saimyo. Saimyo is lizard emotes over it earlier and I was like oh Sai it's your mum <laughs> Mamba uh, and just again for those of you in chat who don't know uh, this is a demo that Minima Laifu who is in chat and Kale's worked on uh, I think it took two years for the demo um, so you can check download it for free or check out the official Twitter though. beheaded <laughs> Hey, 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 hey! A brief flicker of flame came from within the sheep's body. Beautiful. Oh, Ange, thank you so much, Ange. Everything is now right in the world, now that I have subbed. Oh, thank you, Ange. I hope you enjoy your emotes. Um, yeah, if, if chat has, like, better TTV or Franca faces involved, uh, installed, you've got even more emotes. Am I? Oh, jeez, Ange. It's okay, Ange, thank, but thank you, thank you so much. Guys, please check out Angene. Right, look, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the piece of artwork Ange did. I'm sorry we're taking like a brief reprise from the game. But I'm gonna show you. Gun. <laughs> where is it? Look, chat. Where where is it gone? There it is. Look look at this, right? 
Look what, look what Angenity drew. Too good, our queen. Sorry. <laughs> look at that. If you like that kind of energy, check out Angenity. See that rhymes. <laughs> That's where you are. I can see your light, Mr. Sheep. Big boba energy. Yes. She does very, like, big big queen energy artwork. It's awesome. It's my inner DJ. That's okay, and You don't have to hide it around here. Like winding up a pitch, he brought the rock from behind him, and with all his strength, chucked the rock in the direction he saw with the contrast. Oh, look at it. Did you eat yet, says Minimum? I managed to beat the Hydra. I assume I go to the opposite side of the lake. Yes. Paint, hug the left side, the left wall, like super hard, uh, because there isn't much land for you to walk on. If you point the camera down, you can kind of a little bit see where the, the ground like falls off. If you hug the left side and go all the way around to the back, you should find the, uh, the, uh, the golem back there. You did. I'm glad you ate Minima. Damn, that chest. Yes, Udon. <laughs> Bigger than anything I've seen. They're bigger than my mum's chest. Oh my god, Udo. <laughs> now I'm interested, Saints Angel. Too lazy to cook the past few weeks? Oh, Mamba, you should definitely cook. You want to eat Boba? I, I'll eat just about anything right now. I'm hungry as hell. The rock sped through the air as fast as the small arms allowed. Unfortunately, the sheep saw it coming and backed away from the rock as it lost momentum. Death man back. <laughs> he made a quick bar to his efforts, and but the... To his, but its noise ended quickly when the rock ricocheted off another rock on the ground. Oh, look at that. The small stone bounced in the direction of the sheep's face, which is not expecting a loud animalistic shriek came from the sheep as the rock hit its eye. Zeus could tell it hit its mark from the noise it made. I actually hit the sheep. Wow, I might be I might actually be great. <laughs> you guys are having so much fun with that emo, I love it. <laughs> Um, yeah, <laughs> it's a great emo. Don't you? I'm glad you like it. <laughs> Mini. Deep with only one eye open and the other bleeding began to back away. It let out several deep bars to pour off the children. <laughs> Mambas. <laughs> Maximum bombs. <laughs> look, look at the power of this emo. I know the artist. Who, who drew this emo, and they, whenever I mention the artist's name who drew this emo, hopefully they can hear me right now, they always say, oh no, stop, stop. So I don't know if I'm supposed to say, but like, look at the power, the justice. The girl stood on the other side of the sheep. She presented her blade to the sheep as she kept a low stance in case. Man, but I mean. <laughs> The silver sheep looked in both directions, with both children to its sides. It flared up another field of flames around its body. How DJ do you want to be? I mean... You, I guess you can be DJ in this chat. But it, I feel like it doesn't take much to out DJ me. Like, honestly... And Jenny and Curdle in the same stream, like, being in my chat together... Will out DJ the hell out of me. I'm sorry, Ange, it's just, it's just the truth. I can't keep up with you two, <laughs> like, when your powers combine. Its flames discharged a couple of times briefly, and droplets of blood began to run down its face. It stamped at its feet angrily, kicking up splashes of mud around its feet. Degenity. <laughs> the true ruler. <laughs> you know what? Right. Much, uh, much said, I think much coined that one as well. D, D, G, D, Gen. Come on, just go. I don't have much else to fight with. <laughs> with a wild, crazed eye, the sheep backed away and began to run in the direction of the small boy sitting in the ground. No, he's going, he's going after him. Stop it. Without a second thought, Zeus charged toward it, the direction of the boy. For him, the sheep was nowhere in sight. In reality, he was running right next to it. The sound of fiercely splashing mud and water was close to him. I out DJ and ghost. <laughs> do, do you, Udo? I don't know. I know Angenity does. And Jenny and Curdle is pure degen energy. <laughs> and Jenny e Games, that's those two combined. <laughs> it's next. I can hear it. That has to be it. 
Zeus took off his from his path toward the boy and made a beeline straight for the sheep. The animal's horns. I thought about getting a commission the other day, right? I wanted to commission Durkel. Um, but I was like, wait, this reference is probably too degen. <laughs> Maybe I should like wind this down. <laughs> I was like, the first reference, the first reference I I, uh, I was looking at was like, it looks like Hachi's gonna fall out of her shirt, uh, like out of her dress. <laughs> That's nice, but did you unlock Ultra Instinct? Who, me, Mamba? Did I unlock Ultra Instinct? I feel like I have done <laughs> at times, I'll tell you that. The animal's horns were dead set on striking the crying boy until Zaya's body crashed into its side. With a good amount of force, he knocked it over and made it tumble onto its side. After being pushed over, it reared its legs to an attempt to stand, splashing mud and bits of blood around in the process. Ultra Instinct DJ. No, I've never done that. Holy crap. <laughs> never. <laughs> I've got Ultra Instinct when I play like Sekiro and, and stuff. <laughs> In anger, the sheep spiked up more of its wool, but its flames were weaker than before, fizzling out seconds later. Cries from the sheep pierced Zeus's ears, and the sound that the sheep made were almost human-like. It was a sound Zeus heard too often. Like a lot of other mammals he'd heard, their suffering was voiced just as loud as his own would be. When he stood up to see why it's shrieking so fiercely, he saw that its leg was bent, oof, in a way that it did not look normal. Ow. Oh, that's... In its pain, the sheep tried to kick the boy close to it. Wild movements and constant loud bars. It managed to get its leg positioned so that it could stand. Zeus no longer wanted to fight the sheep, but if he went after the boy still, he was going to protect him. The girl came running out from up to him both and the sheep. The sheep's only usable eye looked around erratically at the girl's presence. Within no time, it used every bit of strength it had to run. It held up one leg and ran with the other, three in a wild pattern, straight for the open plains. Zeus watched as it brushed past the trees and disappeared from sight. What did you do to it? <laughs> the girl ran up to his side. Didn't you only throw a rock? I did, but I'm sure it broke its leg when it fell. It didn't look good for it. The girl's face had an odd expression that Zeus wouldn't couldn't make out. What's up, Minnie? upset. With a sigh, she placed the knife back in her coat, in a spot that Zeus thought was not ideal. Huh. The eyebrows. I didn't get to fix it. Oh, Min. It's okay, Minnie. It's only the demo. It's okay. Don't place the knife near your stomach, you idiot. About the voice to his opinion About to voice his opinion aloud, the sound of a small puddle splashing grabbed his attention. The small boy who was sitting nearby ran up to the man who sprawled next to the tree. The boy fell to his knees near him, his small hands trembling over him. He looked like he was unsure if he could touch him. The girl approached him with a worried look on her face. She stood behind the boy, pinched his cheek from behind. A quick yelp of surprise and pain came from the boy. He turned to see her looking into his eyes. A slight glow from the center of his iris appeared when they looked at each other. Tears began to fall down his face. The girl calmly wrapped the boy's neck with a herb wrap, not saying a word and a faint smile on her face. When she wrapped the boy's neck, she bent down and brought her hand, head to the man's chest. Still not breathing. Nova, it's okay. Though his name is Nova, huh? she stood up and lightly put a hand on his head. I'll make sure he gets some help, okay? Don't worry, we have luck. We have to be strong, right? I feel like everyone in this game is so sure. Mamba, the very young, the, the, yeah, the kids, like Minnie says, the very, very young. Uh, quiet sniffles came from the boy, along with tears and drips of snot. Gross. The rain that poured over the children was still constant, not nearly as much as before. So they're like four feet, nine years old, yeah. Dale suddenly watched them from close by, thinking of what to do next. Nova is younger. How old is Nova? Or is, if that's spoilers, don't, don't mention it, Minnie. I don't want to get off track, but it wouldn't be right to not offer help. This girl seems like she knows how to handle little ones. The least I can do is help get the man treated. I forgot. <laughs> no worries. Zeus looked for signs of the direction they came from. That's that's my thing, right, Minnie? Whenever people are like, oh, don't, don't, don't mention this, or this is a secret, I'm like, I'll, I'll forget this in like 30 minutes. So, no worries. Zeus looked for signs of the direction he came from, based on what he saw around him and how long he walked. He got his bearings. We should be near that soup town, I think. 
If we go that way, within an hour or two, we could probably get there. It'd be faster than going to, don't he? Oh, right. He walked up to the other two children, looking at the man's condition. Nova is a girl, right? Uh-oh, my internet. Oh, no worries, Minnie. Um, Zayas, hey, you two. Zayas interrupted the boy and girl come firstly. Oh, it's okay, Minnie. I was saying, um, whenever people, like, come to me and they're like, Oh, I've got a secret, or don't tell this, and blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm just like, cool, I'll just forget this in, like, 30 minutes. Um, is Nova a girl? Is asking Mamba. Zayas. If we hurry, we'll be able to get him to the soup town quickest. Soup town, you mean? The girl brought a hand to her chin. R Rigus, I think is what it's called. The place that's called the town made in a bowl of soup, right? A boy. There you go. There you go, Mamba. World's first. Exclusive. Nova is a boy. That's the one. They swiped his face of rain. The storm will only make things worse for the man, so we should do it fast. I could wrap in him a bit in a in a bit of herb wrap, but I don't think it will help with something like that. The girl took out the roll of wrap that it made soft light with all colours. Everyone looks like a boy, says Mamba. Maybe they're meant to? I don't know. Aries is supposed to look like a boy. There you go, yeah. Since it's raining though, it should at least look soothing, I think. The boy looked at the burned man. But we have to carry him? His eyes swelled with enough emotion, it almost looked like tears. He looks kinda heavy. We won't be able to drag him. <laughs> he looked around, her eyes stopping at the nearby trees. They're small, but there might be enough sticks to make a sled. Hey Nova, that's your name, right little one? The small boy nodded his head. Great, nice to meet you. I'm Zayas. Could you look over there for some large sticks? You can even take them from the top of the trees if you climb. More boy wiped his eyes and sniffed up the mucus like running down his nose. I can do that. Zayas could see a bit of... could see the bits of determination in the boy's eyes. Good, I'll go look over there then. Zayas was about to run to the tree he saw. The sight of the girl taking off her coat stopped him. Revealing her black sweater underneath, she threw her coat onto the ground. He couldn't think of her name and only stood there bumbling. Hey, um... The girl looked at him confused. Call me Eris. Ah, oh, Eris. Why are you taking off your coat? I figured we could use it as a base for the sticks. Good point. But at least say something before you just do that, though. That makes sense. Do you mind getting a bunch of grass? It sucks that's all it's all wet, but it should make it easy to fill your coat. Oh, I've got it. It's getting a bit dark, we should hurry up. Deus proceeded with gathering materials, he stopped by the first tree he saw. There was nothing but small twigs taking live branches was something he didn't want to do, but he began to rip them off anyway. Sorry, it's for a good reason. The person he was apologizing to was nowhere in sight, but he felt he needed to do it. After grabbing a few branches from one tree, he went on to the next couple. A good amount was gathered after a few minutes, and he decided it was enough. The other two children were on the ground, shaping sticks and grass into the girl's coat. When we get, when he get closer, when he get closer, it looked lo it looked almost complete. With his bundle, it could be enough to make it to the city. They used the final bit of material to finish the sled: a jacket, sticks, and grass to fill. To fill gaps were all they could manage. This should be enough. Now all that's needed is something to pull him with. Nova dug through the pockets of the man and pulled out three tightly bonded rolls of rope hap. Herb wrap. We can use this on him. The boy no longer spotted spotted a sad look. Zeus thought he seemed to be happy since he was helping out. Eris had a slight smile when she saw Nova present the wrap. Great. With this much, we can use this for the chest since his back isn't burned. The rest can hold him down, and a bit more can be used around the hood, so it can pull him. Sounds like a good idea. Nova's face lit up with a huge smile. He looks so happy, I wish I could- I wish some of the children in Brights were like this. They just couldn't help smirk from their in- 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 What? Hey, Scorpion. 
I don't think how to pronounce that word. I think so. It's pretty dark now. We should go while we still have light. Be careful too. It's pretty muddy. We elongate the rope. The children use articles of clothing they didn't need. To have enough rope for all three of them, socks, undershirts, and leftover herb wrap were the embodiment of their pulling power. Why did Kales use their eyes? <laughs> I, I I don't see anything. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you, which one you mean, Minnie. What a waste of wrap. I hope it's still usable after this. He could use effort with you. Oh. He could see effort wasted from making her wrap in his mind. Now we just need to put him on this thing. First digital tablet. Hey, that's awesome, Scorpion. I've been drawing a bit as well. Ready to put him on? I'm cooking now. Oh, totally, and he's not so good right now. Eris nodded ahead, and so did Nova. The three of them took a side. Zeus at his arms, Eris at the legs, and Nova in the middle nearest waist. I need one too, so I can play it also. <laughs> Together they counted. One, two, three. My first emote on tablet. Hey, that's awesome. Nicely done. Big loves. Yeah, what's up, Mamba? You got emote commissions? Oh, yeah? Nice. Do you want to show them off? Using all their strength, they picked up his body, barely off the ground, and pacingly moved it to the sled only a few feet away. Grunts and moans from the man, as well as the children, came with every step they took. Oh, right, right. That's a, that's a thing. Let me uh, let me show you. Bit Komodo. Ah, I got the wrong one. Oh well. <laughs> no display tablet. Mine doesn't display either. Because I'm behind. Oh, it's work in progress. I see, I see. I got the Galmon M106K. Huh. What emotes are you going to get, Scott? Uh, Mamba, what emotes are you going to get? His arms on the waist are long. You like that pose, huh, Minna? Eris' face was bright red from straining to keep his legs up. Nova tried his best to grab anywhere on the hips, and Zeus' arms were nearly dead from trying to pull him towards by the arms. You're not going to say? Oh, fair enough. The man's butt sagged down the most. The man's butt sagged down the most, making it hard for the two on the ends to carry him. Despite the weight being off balance, they managed to get him on top of the sled. <sighs> Finally, my, my back is killing me. We have a long way th while to drag him too. Nova only sighed with the small ragged breaths. The rain still poured and the air was colder than before. Zeus couldn't help the chills that ran down his spine. I want to go home. <laughs> I want to eat. The storm that once roared and flooded the plains was no more than a mild rainfall. With their makeshift sled loaded up, the children were ready to begin their trip to Rigus. Deus made sure the man was tightly fastened to the sled, while the other two scouted for the plains. Rain obscured their vision, but the faint light far in the distance gave them a good idea where they'd travel. Brisk winds rolled over the plains and embraced them in bone-chilling cold. Their clothes were soaked through and their bodies began to shake, crossing their arms barely staved off the cold. Deus looked at the girl staring off in the distance. She turned around as if she could feel his gaze, an eyebrow raised upon her face with a questioning look. Oh, I see. <laughs> Angel. Look, I really like Lukawa from Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. What can I say? <laughs> I actually started drawing her. Mini, did, did you see I started drawing um, uh, Lukua? I'm gonna... Can, what day is it today? Is it Wednesday? Yeah, I've got my art stream tomorrow. I'm gonna be drawing more Lukua. That's a good emote. <laughs> Scorpion, I like that. <laughs> Outy, but, but with Big Bobber. Where's the drawing? You wanna see? It's not finished. Yeah, I, so I do art streams once a week. Um, with, with much. Um, I'll show you what I've got so far. Uh, can I? Oh, I don't have it saved as a JPEG. 
Ah, uh, uh, yeah, no, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll not show you it now. It, it'd just be more effort. I'd have to like boot up CSP and like all that stuff. But um, but hopefully it'll be finished tomorrow. Damn, once twice a week. Trying to get used to the tablet first. Take your time, Scorpion. Um, I'm sure I'm sure you get the knack of it. What is it? She asked with a slight chatter to her voice. Think we can make it? I didn't see any more sheep or any of the dangerous animals. I think we might be okay. But I hate eating dumplings. What what does that mean, Mamba? Is that a euphemism for something? Something DJ. Okay, good. Hey Nova. Yes. <laughs> the small boy looked away from his telescope hand. T telescope hand? Telescope hand. Perry, <laughs> you're of a mist. You're a mess. <laughs> you euphemistic. Euphemistic. Okay. <laughs> that took a. That took effort. Do you mind taking the back of the rope? He's close to you, right? Nova nodded his head. He's my uncle. I see, if that's the case, it's better you look out for him, okay? Just let us know if he looks like he's in a lot of pain. Got it. It's when you fall dumpling and skin on itself. Oh, I see. I don't really understand, but I, uh... I see. Nova smiled. Great, then we should go, it's cool. Oh, fuck, son, what the hell? <laughs> A startling screech got the girl's sentence shot, followed by a small wave of vibrations beneath the children's feet. The hollow echo resounded through the plains. They all froze in place listening. That's a that's an incredible sound effect. Whoever made that, holy shit. It's bad. <laughs> Another screech sounded sounded out, far off from where the children were. Clouds pied ways, revealing the moon's light that covered a far off forest. An out-of-tune stringed instrument was all Zaius could think of when he heard the cries. He couldn't help but scratch his head at the thought of the creature calling out from afar. We should go. They might have just formed. He murmured as he looked in the distance. We should have time. Nova ready to go? The boy's bright yellow pupils looked worried, but he confidently said, Yes. Looks like we're, go we're good. Zeus walked up to the sled, catching a glimpse of the man in pain before he grabbed his position on his position on the rope. Nova and Eris followed suit, with her in the front and Nova in the back as agreed. What just formed? Effin run? Yes. <laughs> Whatever it is, it sounds dangerous. The three of them looked at one another with a nod of agreement, they began to pull the rope as hard as they could. Within the first few took, Zeus could feel every pound of the man weighed. He was sure the other two had just as hard time. The slick grass didn't help them gain f footing either nor did the mud provide any traction. The three of them groaned as they tried pulling on the slick surface without falling. Little by little they gained distance and with it more momentum. He weighs almost as much as a deer. Hey, I know a deer. Just keep pulling, there's a bit of a slope ahead. Just like she said, a small slope had appeared. The sled behind them tilted slightly and the weight gradually lightened. With the help of gravity, the children gained a start and it was easier for their bodies to handle. It doesn't look like there's up uphill. Okay. <laughs> I have a deer. What do you mean, Angel? I, uh... Have a deer? Oh, <laughs> that is a deer emote. <laughs> that's, that's a deer spirit, yeah. It doesn't look there's a lot uphill. We might get there quickly. Great. This is going to be a long trip. Much man get is a deer, I'll tell you that. Oh, I remember this piece too. Through long stretches of field and constant rain, the children pulled the man with the rope. Re uh, with the hope of reaching Rigus within a few hours. Zeus was in the middle, but with felt like he had most of the pulling power. Hey, Sai, it's. <laughs> Sai, how you doing? Um, you, are you good, Sai? What the, how, how's your stream going, Sai? Oh, I'm I'm good. Yes, yeah, Sai's streaming. Um, streaming right now. Yeah. I, I'm looking at Sai's chat right now. 
much saw my comment. I'm looking at your side. You saw it. Wait, wait. I forgot. Mini did a game. Yep. Yeah. Let me watch DG. Die. I'm not Bambi. <laughs> I see size chat. I'm spying. I'm spying on you, Sai. Give me one sec, chat. This is very, very important. There we go. <laughs> they were all much too small for the task, but his arms in particular felt more tired than usual. Cold wind brushed his skin as he held the soaking rope. His eyes were still his eyes were watered as well from the looking upwind. The other children wait, what's that? Donuts? Donuts? I spy with my little eye. Oh, it's Sai, yes. The other children shared the same expression as him, gritting their teeth and hugging their body tightly, attempting to ward off the chills of nature's harassment. I enter too fast. <laughs> Wait, what? What do you mean enter too fast? What do you mean, Sai? Are you okay? Sai the snack guy. So if you guys don't know who Sai is, let me give Sai a shout out. Sai is this super cute snake man. Uh, definitely check out Sai. He does very, very good like action art pieces. He does great waifu pieces. But he does like fantastic like action pieces. It's very uh, very impressive. So if you want like dynamic like um, powerful images, check out Sai. Dumplings. <laughs> oh my god, it's really cold. The meteorobelisk showed signs of it being really cold with fog. You two aren't really in the right clothes. <laughs> Thank you for the shout out, Sai. <laughs> Did Sai just give me a shout out in his chat? <laughs> the boings are late. <laughs> Day aside, he could see his breath when he did so. It only set him up for more disappointment and they still had a ways to go. How could I fall asleep and let myself? If only I didn't sleep, Noah said quietly. What? What do you, what do you mean Noah? Minerva keeps mercilessly beheading me. <laughs> Mini. You too, little one. Eris interjected as she looked back. Nova nodded his head. Bunk Roderick carried me because he had fell asleep. It started raining and he didn't want me to get sick. Nova's face had a slightly angry expression. When I woke up, I was under a tree and Unc was trying to wake me. He had a scary face and all of a sudden he got hit by a sheep. That's really unfortunate, Nova, but we're getting him help now, so you don't have to make that face. A wry smile briefly appeared on the boy's face, but disappeared just as fast as it came. While Zayas paid attention to the boy's expressions, he heard softly spoken words ahead of him. Did you say something? He turned to Eris. Huh? Um, just talking to myself. I have a strange question though. What is it? I'm just gonna hydrate. Is it weird that I also happened to fall asleep earlier? I've been thinking about it for a while. I feel really weird about not remembering. This is hard to skip to beat. Supernatural stories and ghost stories didn't chime well with him. It hit too close to comfort for him since he didn't remember falling asleep either. I, I think that's, that's pretty strange. A coincidence? His words came out choppy. I'm not sure. When I tried to think about when I fell asleep, I can't. This doesn't sit right. I don't really remember either, I just remembered waking up. Really strange. Did anything happen to you earlier too? Deus' stomach felt like it was slowly twisting. He searched for his mind for information, instinctively to hear a question as he expected. I... I don't... think so. They all fell asleep. Yeah, they all fell asleep at some point, Minnie, but um... They don't know why. Oh, Ghost, here's a weird thing that happened. Oh, here's a weird thing that happened to my copy of Sekiro for Xbox. Fell off my shelf and hit me on the head. <laughs> You're haunting me and trying to tell me something. Yes, Artsy. 
play Sekiro, Platinum Sekiro, beat it with one hand, defeat Sekiro, master it, do the Gauntlet of Mortality. <laughs> oh, look, they're in the distance. Ares peered into the sky as dark clouds began to part ways and show their outer reaches of space. The moon was not visible, but the trails of light that flowed around it projected large ripples of colors throughout the sky. No, I might be. <laughs> Maybe it's just coincidence. Silence fell over the ch fell over the children. Zeus noticed that it didn't seem like they had more topics, but the two of them had a slightly pained expression. Relatively, he noticed his head began to hurt, and the more he searched for an answer to a question, I might be it. Then do all the thing endings. Sounds good, Artsy. Sounds good. And then, when you've done all the endings, you'll be so addicted, you'll start doing challenge runs. I walked from Dante Forest. Took me a few hours to get halfway, then nothing. Did I take a nap? Hmm. Tension waned as he tried to think more. See, Mini believes in you, Artsy. You can do it. If Mini believes in you, you can do anything. Don't make sense. It doesn't make sense. I feel like I'm missing something important. Zayas held a hand to his forehead. My head is killing me. Why doesn't it make sense? He looked back at the boy behind him, watched, watching his small yellow eyes scrounge up. After running away, he felt like there was something odd going on. This feels like the other times, as if I'm the only person in my bubble. But the dot above always puts its light onto me, and I can never remember why I'm there. Is this the same? He massaged his head. Zayas explored the depths of his mind. He remembered past tales of sorts. Friends, friends, caretakers, teachers, people he loved. The nighttime always gave him a strange feeling of remembrance. Zoning out wasn't too uncommon for him. The cold embrace of the wind made him want to further seclude himself internally. He couldn't help but lose himself in memories as he watched the ground pass by. Starting at the ground for staring at the ground for so long soon became boring once he returned to reality. It felt like his body was moving on its own as they pulled the man. He didn't even notice that it had been almost an hour and a half since that anyone said anything. You need more coffee? A. Eh? Have a good coffee, Mamba. <laughs> Hand felt like cold marble while he gripped a soaking wet shirt that he's part of the rope. You want a coffee as well, Minnie? We're always gonna have like a coffee party. He switched hands to give, a break, give it a break when he let go. The skin of his palm had wrinkled with a bluish color. Amazed at how long it's been since either the two said anything, he felt like they sh he should break the ice. Nova looked like he wasn't paying attention to anything, and Eris' face was not viewable. The way she walked looked like a puppet to him. How long has it been? Both ends of the rope jumped. Eris' shoulders perked up as they got splashed with cold water. She looked back at him with wide eyes. She looked around her briefly before saying, I... I don't know, a long time? Zayas heard a sneeze behind him. Pretty cold. I hope we don't get sick. Maybe we're almost there. He could barely feel his legs when he took the time to focus on how his body was doing. He noticed he was sweating and his legs were sore. Are you both all right? It's been a while. I need a break. It need a break. I think a break might be good. There's nothing around right now, too. My legs hurt. All right then. Let's take a break here. The children slowed to a stop and released their parts of the rope. After holding wet cloth for so long, Zeus felt like his hands would fall off. In fact, they hurt so much that he wouldn't be surprised if they crumbled right in front of him. Eris groaned. My uncle hurts so much. You sprain it. No, it's just saw. I'm not used to this kind of pulling. Nova sniffled. Me too. I haven't done stuff like this before. Work out, damn it! Hey, Ange. You feeling comfy? Gift leader too, eh, Ange? Thank you, Ange, Jenny. Rolls are tired. I wonder how much farther it is. Rain still covered the plains and wet them, and wet them the entire time. But it's no longer an issue after being soaked for so long. Dave stretched his arms back as he sat down on wet grass as he peered up at the sky. He knew it gave him nothing but pitch black darkness and the occasional white spot here and there. 
What he felt though was much less empty. It was a feeling of sort of freedom. Images of the night sky were still rooted into his brain. Ooh. From when he was a baby. The scene was always fuzzy and there was no colour. But it was the only time he could truly see the sky with his own eyes. He sighed. I need to hydrate again. Do you know where the second sun is today? Eris asked suddenly, a question he didn't foresee, but nonetheless felt like he could answer. No. See. Her expression was more disappointed than he expected. I like how she's like looking off to the right. It's cool. Eris seemed to be studying the sky just like him. She peered around in all directions. Is he looking for it? He felt like she he would appease her after he'd given such a stale answer. I don't know where it is, but why do you look why are you looking for it? The night only just started. Well, I... She closed her mouth and lowered her eyes. I wanted to see if I could see it, is all. Rain dripped from her hair and slid down her face. Deus felt like there was something more to her words, but she didn't want to cry. See, maybe you can find it if you look, really look. Eris gave a slight smile. Maybe. I hope so. The expression she gave was soft, and her eyes longed for something. Not my business, but I hope you see what you're looking for. After a short while of rest, the children decided that they had enough of a break. It wasn't enough of a break to completely heal their fatigue, but the man's groans of agony was more than enough reason for them to keep moving. The darkness crept up on them while the clouds decided enough light had been, had been in. Though near pitch black darkness, the trudge of right to Rigus continued as a never-ending rain poured over them. Eris' mouth was quivering. It's pretty dark now. It is, I couldn't see anything at all. You, you can do hover, and you can type exclamation mark hover. Does, does clap? Oh, stream avatars. <laughs> stream avatars hasn't been on this whole time. <laughs> there you go, Ange. <laughs> I told myself before the stream, oh, I must do that. Uh, I must turn it on. Oh, but it's like it's covering up the uh, the artwork. Let me let me shift to that. I don't want to like cover up the artwork if I can if I can avoid that. I must remember to do this. Forgets every time, every time. If we had a candle or flare, that would be great. Candle on a rainy day, says me. Eldritch in inequity. I might have something. Nova exclaimed as he felt his pockets. His excitement died and he looked dejected. I noticed it's gone for a while. <laughs> Mini. <laughs> Never mind, sorry. I thought I still had the marker. I already used it though. The one from back at the grove? Mm -hmm. You don't need to say sorry, Nova. If you didn't use it, it, we wouldn't have gotten to you so quickly. Really? Yes, I'm glad you used it. You did good. Nova smiled faintly as she looked back at his uncle. I'm glad as well. If I'd never been there where I was, you might have... I wonder why she... Did my avatar attack you, Ange? Uh, your... I, I don't think it did. I flew across the screen. Oh, okay, they did then. Because I can't see that. Hey, Eris. You never saw Nova and his uncle going in your direction? But the love slap. Oh, it's a good feeling, eh? No, I didn't see anyone. Where were you? Where were you and your uncle going over? Tough floor, baby. <laughs> Slap Ange, what? The abuse. I hope you're into that, Ange. Eh? <laughs> he was taking me into the fields to help him with find curry trees. You mean crywood? Whoa. <laughs> hey, Don Claire, how you doing? He said he would teach me how to speak, uh, how to make paper that kind of um, sparkles. There's still trees left. He said people are talking in town. Woshba, don't please or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, uh, just back out, don't close. It's okay. You don't need to be um, burdened with this fussy knowledge. This, uh, this, uh, this dark knowledge. Thought everything. <laughs> That's really nice. How are you doing, don't close? 
by town? Do you mean daunting? Yes. I should look too, maybe, before they end up all gone. Days looked at Eris curiously. I'm tired. I'm, I'm hung. Well, my throat is sore. I'll tell you that. Uh, my, my voice is sore. I'm a little tired. I need some, like, I need some sugar, I think. <laughs> but I'm okay otherwise. Are you from Dante too, Eris? Um, take a break. I'll, I'll take a break when I've finished, Mini, but, uh, I'm not sure how far it is to go. Sai, you're adorable. Thank you for the shout outs. Am I beautiful? Thank you, Anjanity. Thank you so much. Jesus. Focus, Danny. <laughs> Sai. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I've got size stream up on my second monitor. I was just waiting for his reaction. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Angenity. Spa, Schwa, I hope you enjoy the emotes. If you've got Franca faces or a um, better TTV installed, you've got some additional emotes accessible to you. Handsome Doinkler. <laughs> um. So, so yeah, you, you've got you've got a whole variety of emotes. I'm a phone, unfortunately. Hey, no worries, Spa. Spa. I hope next time uh, you're on your PC, you get to you get to check them out. <laughs> thank you, Anjani. Seriously, thank you. Um, and thank you all for hanging out. Can he just call Spa a cow? What? I can see them on stream, just not on chat. Ah, I see, I see. Eris looks out into the distance where Dante would be. A brief look of sadness crossed her face. I said, I am a cow. <laughs> hey, cupcake. Yeah? Welcome home, Dante. Durkle! Durkle, thank you for the raid. How, how, how was Witcher, Durkle? Did that, did that, did that? No, I put two exclamation marks. That's why that didn't work. How, how was Witcher? So, for chat who doesn't know who uh, Durkle is, she's a wonderful artist and just fantastic. Uh, she's a big, big fan of Witcher as well. I got two ghost taps. <laughs> Thank you for supporting Durkle, Mini. Um, if, if you're a fan of um, Witcher and amazing artwork, do check out Durkle. She's super lovely. She's very supportive. She's very kind. Cupcake, Maru's voice. Yeah, it's Maru's voice. She uh, she did some voice acting for me. Got a show love to ghost. Thank you, Ange. Thank you so much. Minnie said, bitch, he's a cow. I feel like there's a lot of story I'm missing there. <laughs> Thank you for the raid, Durkle. Do you want to show off any artwork? Um, any artwork you've been working on? Or a, or a clip from Witcher, maybe? Don't worry about dying several times on a difficult game, Durkle. It's all about succeeding. Don't worry about it, Ghost. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you don't want to answer that? What were you there for? I went to see a repair shop. I heard the merchants are pretty good. They are. Eris had a warm smile on her face that she was just out of view from Zeus. Well, that was just out of view. I can show the Eric piece before she's finished. Go for it, Durkle. Show off any, like, drop anything you want off in chat. And that, that goes for anyone. Like, if Sai wants to, like, drop a, a picture, like, a link to something he's working on, um, or a finished piece in chat, or Mini, or Ange, or Cupcake. I love the challenge, but goddamn. You'll get it, Durkle. I, I believe. I know you won't give up. They're very kind people. Twitch, Twitch, Twitch is full of kind people. You might enjoy what I'm about to draw. I'm, I'm watching out of the corner of my eye what you're drawing, Sai. I'm watching like in real time while playing the game. <laughs> my eye is shown enough. That's, that's true, Minnie. That's true. I got asked to keep a bunch of things for visiting. I think they liked me. Maybe they wanted a good customer to come back. Maybe. Zeus rubbed his stomach and sighed. All the food around here they smelled gr all the food around there smelled great. I wish I could have gotten a bit of it. Are you hungry? I have jerky if you need it. I I will fight that child for that jerky right now. 
He rummaged through his pockets hurriedly. Zaius put a hand behind him. You don't need to give me anything. You should save it for yourself. He turned around to tuck at the boy and smiled. You should you should keep it with how small you Sorry, give me give me a sec, chat. Give me one second. I just need to Need to do something real quick. Small <laughs> small chat. Yeah, just give me just give me a moment. Um Uh, here it is. Nope, that's the wrong one. That's the wrong one, no, so. Aerith waifu baby. I, I mean, waifu is totally fine with me. Always. Deathmatch is absolutely brutal. Oof. Death. What's deathmatch, Durkle? You might enjoy it. <laughs> Marty's showing up. Yes, look at the uh, the art piece. Um, God, it, it's still work in progress. But uh, let's let's show off what Durkle's been working on. Window capture. I always uh, wonder if I'm getting this right. Look at this. It's a, it's work in progress, but my goodness. Oh, Aerith. Oh baby with a sword though, yeah. This match is the highest difficulty. Oh, Durkle, you've got this, I believe you. I've never played that game before, but I'm sure you can do it. You should keep it. With how small you are, you are. We need every bit of strength you have, okay? Oh, I was showing off the the picture of uh, <laughs> Sai. I saw you had a picture of DG up, um, I, and I see the animation. <laughs> uh, I I was showing off the picture of Eric. <laughs> Post. <laughs> Yeah, I saw the picture of DG and I see the animation you got. <laughs> a large smoke crossed his face. I can see your chat as well, Sai. <laughs> Nova looked saddened, but he gave his ass a nod and proceeded to pull just a bit harder. Sai, is it horror? <laughs> That's the spirit little one. Zeus turned and looked at Eris from behind. If she's out here, what was she doing? Where were you coming from, Eris? Hunting? I posted a link to a recent commission piece too, but I think you've seen Uh, oh, did I miss? Oh, sorry, Dirk, I missed that. Oh, yeah, yeah, that one's cool as hell. Let me, uh, let me show you that one as well. What am I drawing? You're drawing, like, some Ringu stuff, Sai. Look, this is what Sai is drawing, chat. And this is what Durkle did in a commission. It's fucking awesome. It's uh, Loki's first son, I believe. Fenrir. Baines looks so good. Look at that. Yeah. Good job. A sword piece. Yes, lots of swords, eh? Durkle draws quite a few swords, I think. You drew Tifa and Cloud and Barrett as well. No, I was coming from the town brights. Oh, I've never seen you traveling before. What did you go there for? Dirko, why do you, why do you want to stab? Oh no. <laughs> Lots of impaled pictures. I want to trade for something, just like you, but it wasn't enough. Because stabby stab. <laughs> oh no. I see, was it your first time there? Yes. Eris' words slipped into a rather low voice. I haven't been many places, but it's really beautiful. That's good. This is Dirk. <laughs> well, that makes sense, because I, I like Dirk or I like Yuri. Ooh, damn me. <laughs> Just gotta dye your hair purple, Dirk. 
Zayas twisted his head and pon pondered what she said. His first thought was that she wasn't a regular traveller. You went all the way there and didn't pack anything? No, I, I did, but her voice raised in pitch and she fell backwards. Zayas put his hands out to try and stop her fall. Her body pushed back on him and he too almost fell back. With a bit of strength, he managed to keep them both from crushing over. Think of deathmatch equivalent to you fighting Yazora. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> that guy sucked. That Yazora fight was just... So happy when that was over. Just be patient, Durkal. And uh, I've not played Witcher, but my best advice would be patient and... Um, and thought, think out every like encounter and battle. Approach them all. Purple hair is smexy. I like purple a lot. It's a great colour. But sorry, it, it slipped. I slipped on a bit of mud. Oh, no worries. Zayas had to drop his part of the rope to catch her. As he bent over, he could faintly see a skid mark in the mud. Watch out for this bit of mud, Nova. Okay. Thank you. Just gonna drink again. Eris stood herself up straight and grabbed her rope. When she began to pull, she cleared her throat. I did, but I forgot to back in Brights. I got lost with t I got lost with time playing with the smaller children. Why didn't you go back to get it? When I felt hungry, I reached for my strap later and realized it wasn't there. Eris gave a shot chuckle. <laughs> I knew something felt weird. I was about to turn around and go back, but I saw something. Her voice once again lowered, but unlike last time, she had a harsh pitch. Hey, Rio. I died 13 times in today's run. The most was from regular enemies. That sounds about right, Durkle. Isn't this that? Yes, Rio. Um, this is the demo for the game Kales and Minimo worked on, um, as well as others, but I don't know them. Um, there's a link to download it for free, or you can check out the official Twitter. FBI Angel. <laughs> um... Yeah, Durkle. Just don't know them either. <laughs> Maybe they don't exist, Minnie. Maybe they're all fictional people. <laughs> Durkle, just just uh, keep at it and be patient. No matter how difficult something is, as long as you don't quit, you'll get there in the end. I promise you. That, that's literally like how you do Taxos. <laughs> I see Minnie working on it so much. I looked up and then she began to trail off from her words and held her hand to her head. Deus is about to reach out to her. You okay? Eris shook her head. I'm going to do this. I want that damned achievement. I, I know you'll do it, Durkle. If, if you can, like, affirm it within, like, your mind to the point where, like, it doesn't matter how long it'll take, you will do it. Then you're halfway there already. She even stayed up late for it. She did. Minnie worked very hard on this. I'm fine. Alright, if you want to stop, we can... No, I'm not tired, it's just my head hurts. Well, we should close. We should be close to the town, I think. Maybe you need medicine. I don't think medicine would help, but I sort of feel better already. Is that so? It's an old sprite way. Is she sick or something? Or is it... If you feel worse, let us know, okay? The game sprites are different from Kale's emotes. Oh, oh, I see. see I, yeah, I remember. I just have to practice my battle cry so I can scream it. <laughs> just just have that as your, your intro. Just like a war chant, Durkle. But that man is more important to help. Okay, but that man is more important to help instead, so we should hurry for all of us. That emote is my gift. Oh, that's really sweet of you, Minnie. Much, much has done me a, a gift emote before. It's really fucking sweet and funny as hell. Yeah, she did the trash can on her emote, on hers. It's so funny. Um, so she did one for me. It's fucking great. I'd actually do that. That's a perfect idea. Do it, Durkle. Watch and it's a chibi art. Just realize, just resize the emote. Oh, okay. oh, you don't do emotes. I see, I see many. Right. Their conversation ended there. The night-filled plant, filled plains, breezy wind, and cold rain were the only things that made sounds. The faint light that faintly glowed far in the distance was much brighter than long ago. Silence befell the children until Eris asked. My old emotes is trash, so I commissioned my friend. 
Oh yeah, are you getting new new emotes, Mini? You're getting like a, a a new set? Oh, that's awesome, Mini. Deus, have you been to Bright's? Do you think all the younger children in Bright's are orphans? Deus brought a hand to his chin. Hmm, I don't think so. Not all of us are. Oh, 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 you had an old one. Eris looked back at Zeus with almost lightning speed. Oh, you're from her. Why didn't you say that? I thought it was obvious. Gonna make some food? Thank you so much for the look and the raid, Durkle. Again, chat, if you don't know who Durkle is, please do check out Durkle. She's super lovely and she's been very kind and supportive of me and I appreciate it a great deal. It's in my chat, you can check it as one of the Franca faces. Oh, okay. Eris, give us more power. Then that means you can answer my questions. No, I hate being asked questions. Sure, I'd love to answer that. <laughs> Just internally, it's like, oh fuck. Great, okay. Firstly, why is it so high up? Doesn't that make it hard to do things? What about the children? Isn't that hard on them? I don't know why it's so high, but we have things that make it easier to bring good in goods. The smaller children didn't don't do work. Where? The smaller children don't do work like me and others, but they don't mind running up and down the mountain. Hmm, I see. Next, why are there no merchants? Doesn't every place have them? What about the children, said, F <laughs> said the FBI. <laughs> you'll get a you'll, uh, <laughs> you'll get a little arrested, Angel. I don't know, I never thought about that. I just realised that somehow Durkel and I have multiple followers in common, but I haven't followed them. Multiple followers in common, but I haven't followed them. What do you mean, Pain? That the beheaded emote? <laughs> I drew that emote. <laughs> I drew that emote. Mutuals? Oh, those? They, took, they look fine. Oh, okay. Oh, I think I get you. I get you. Because I kept beheading Angel. <laughs> oh, I see. Like we watch the same streams. Yes, Pain. Yes. Nice, Pain. <laughs> Mini did it again. <laughs> what are you making to eat, Dirkle? Oh, shoot. <laughs> Maybe because it's hard to bring lots of wagons. I don't know what about that other one either. I've only been around the country. Eris powered and faced forward. She spoke quietly. What do you know then? I know that I can still hear you. Anyway, one last thing then. What is it? Why wouldn't the weapons maker accept my knife as a trade? Is it because I'm an outsider? Mr. Hines, does that to everyone? He tells all of us. Zeus cleared his throat and spoke in a rough voice. <clears throat> if you're going to trade, make it something that won't help you when, th when the time comes. Oh, I see. Does Zeus look like this emote? Yeah, I think so, Mini. So that's why I guess I shouldn't have yelled at him then. <laughs> yeah, that's not a good idea. He gives children reasonable deals if he's in a good mood. It looks more like the webtoons you did. What? Eris sighed. I was being so rude. I got too impatient. Game Master? It's the same style of webtoons. Mm -hmm. If you ever go back to Bright's, I can talk to him for you. Hippie. Really? That would be nice. Eris smiled at him. Thank you. Zeus gave her a happy grin back. No problem. You'll need a bag, your bag back anyway. You help me, so I'll help you. Zeus looks too happy in the, in the, in the game. Oh, he looks too happy in the emote compared to the game. That's okay. <laughs> You'll be happy. Really? Thank you. It's not a big deal. The only thing is that you're looking for is what you, you are looking for. What kind of weapon is that you want? A knife? A sword? I'm looking for... A, for Zeus could swear she was looking at him, but the look in her eyes was far more distant. I was trying to make him look like, oh my god, Mini. <laughs> oh, because the eyes, maybe. Even without the brightness of her eyes, she just had the look that didn't look right. Her pause was so long that the low howl of the wind would be a better conversation. That's easy. I've got an easy emote. How about that, chat? Flex on people. 
Eris' expression didn't change much, but she kept a stoic look as she finished her answer. A gun. A gun? That's not really a small trade. And she wanted to trade a knife? Um, uh, I don't, I don't know. I, what do you need such a weapon for? The knife wouldn't be enough for. <laughs> Mamba. <laughs> that worked perfectly. <laughs> Eris's eyes were void of light, that he could barely recognize her. Her voice was just barely audible to him. Murderers. Zeus walked unaware of what she, Oh, my voice. <clears throat> Zeus walked unaware of what she had just said until he replayed it in his mind. Dim skin turn. <laughs> is my voice- is- can you hear my voice getting worse? <laughs> Murderers. Zeus finally caught up with his thoughts. Before he could form a rational thought, he had to ask her. What do you mean? As his words were just about to come out, his body suddenly fell backward. When he looked to grab onto the nearest object, Eris, he quickly knew... I need to slow down. He quickly knew that plan would fail as she was falling backwards as well. Nova fell on top of the unconscious uncle and managed to dodge the other two children as they fell toward him. Must be hard to realize by yourself, Ghost. It's, it's rough, but it's, it's okay. It's okay, Minnie. It's all right. A short burst of high winds sailed over them soon after. The wind wasn't, too, wasn't strong enough to knock them over once more, but the flying water was more than enough to make them think twice. Oh, think twice to open their eyes. All three of them knew that it would come next. Unearthly sounds of screams. They quickly covered their ears for the ensuing sound, like thunder. An ear-piercing screech roared throughout the plains. That sound is great. I love that creepy fucking sound. An out-of-tune instrument would be the last thing Zeus and would think of, think to dis think of to describe it, no matter how much he heard it or how hard he tried to drown out the sound. The distinct whine always made his skin feel like it was being harassed by insects. Ugh, gross. Eris immediately took her chance, pushing off Zeus, Zeus's chest with a hand. She looked into the distance of the sound. Storm clouds near the area she had looked at parted ways, bringing the soft colourful light from the hidden moon, which was down to the ground below. For a second, her eyes grew wide. I see them. No. Do they have to form right now? Zeus stood up and brushed off his muddied legs. Are they far? Eris squinted. A bit. I don't think he can notice us. We need to go. We aren't far. Thud, thud, thud. The sound of its legs pounded the ground and echoed loudly. Each step it took had to be more than four seconds between the next. Its size was incomparable. Incomparable. Nova held his eyes shut the entire time. No, no, no. Hey, Kales, how you doing? Are you good, Kales? This is sort of chat. This is a... Uh... Hey, Polish. I see, I see past the slog. I see a slog. What do you mean slog? It's... Uh... I, d I don't know. I, I don't know Polish. Um, so Kales is the um, the writer and the programmer, if, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so again, you can download this for free at the link there. Or check out the official Twitter. Um, there you go. How are you doing, Kales? No, no, is, is it going to eat us? Eris gave him a half smile. It's okay, Nova. Not if we go quickly. Let's hurry, okay? Nova still had his eyes closed until her hand touched his head. He did everything except art and music. Kales, I, I'm genu I was super impressed with the uh, the menu, honestly, and the music you've managed to gather is bloody fantastic. Can I copy and paste the link? Yeah. Sure, of course, of course, Mamba. <laughs> yeah. Course. Be strong, right? We aren't far. Let's go, Nova. Give the young boy a smile. His was more than on the grinning side. I love all the music guys. They're awesome. They did such a good job. I'm a big fan of that um, that screech sound. So good. Nova's eyes lit up. He could see a spark of determination in them. Good. Now then. But is the love for the eyes? What do you mean, Minnie? <laughs> The art is fantastic. Don't tease me. 
That is fantastic, and you know it. And I know it. Mini works very hard on this chat. Mini and Kales. Do you think we can get there quickly, Eris? Oh, she picked up her part of the ropes. She spoke rapidly. It's just a hill. We should be fine. She rested the rope over her shoulder and looked back. Let's hurry. Zayas and Nova followed her instructions and got into position. The three of them pulled with more strength than they did, had before. Making it to Rygus was far more urgent now than just taking the man to receive help. And this was supposed to be my break. How did this... Another shriek blew past his ears, much lighter than before, but still annoying to listen to. Oh, Mini, uh, there you go. You type, you type accept when someone challenges you. Thank you for the shout out, Sai. This, uh, this animation is looking really good. <laughs> Sai says, damn it, did you? Not really. Sai, I, I read two chats like almost every stream <laughs> whenever i stream but with much i'm like i read two chats so. <laughs> nova looked back at the supposed location of the creature his face twisted with fear it's walking to us don't look back nova just keep looking straight just focus on my back we will get there nova broke his gaze on the far more month on the far Hey, congrats, Mini. And Ryuto TV, thank you for the follow. Thank you so much, Ryuto. Thank you for following that shout out that I gave me. My avatar is stupid like if, if you mouse up Polish, you can you can click on the little embed thing to uh, customize your avatar. I'm going to combo others now. Oh, you're going to combine others, Angel. Well, good luck to you, Angel. Nova broke his gaze on the far on the on the far monstrosity and focused on Zeus's back. Am I? Hales, thank you so know? much, dude. Thank you, for, thank you for gifting us up to Infa and Swaggy. Thank you very much, Kales. I uh, I hope Infa and Swaggy enjoy Am the I emotes. Beautiful. Thank you very much, Kales. Guys, Kales did the programming and the script writing on this and he's effectively the director uh if not is the director do check out kales didn't have to buy the game ah oh, it's okay got a, got a support right check out kales you can buy the game so you you can buy it for free mini or you can like give give some money towards it i think i i put like five five dollars on it I think that's what I usually do when I like download things from itch.io. Okay. Their pace was far quicker. At the rate they were going, they could make it within 20 minutes. Ryuto TV. Is this the legend of the woman who get killed by his man who was some... Ryuto? Oh, that makes me so happy. Yes, so... If you don't mind, we'll take a brief second. So, um... The, we have like three kind of characters on the channel, Ryuto. We've got myself, DG the Ghost. You've got Kuchisaki Ona, the slip mouth woman. The original legend is that she she um she slept she was married to a samurai and she slept with a another like man. The samurai found out and then uh he's he slit her face um from like ear to ear and she were became back as like a vengeful spirit. Uh which is ha uh, Kuchisaki Ona. And also we've got Hachishaku Sama, the eight foot tall woman. Um because I like those urban legends a lot. Um, I'm a big fan of those urban legends. Um, my wife did the artwork for those, by the way. If you guys like good artwork. This is cool, buddy. Thank you, Ryuto. My wife, yeah, my wife did the artwork for those. Um, you can get those on t-shirts if you like. Zeus didn't care to ask for more details on the distance. Moving, moving as quickly as he could was all he could do. The beginning of the hill is coming up. Try and go a bit faster so we don't slide. Zayas put his back into it. He pulled as if we were going to tackle Eris right in front of him. Fortunately, she was doing the same. The hill's incline began to steadily rise. He could feel the difference immediately. He didn't notice the amount of groaning he was making as he pulled. Thud, thud, thud. The sound of its steps almost made his heart stop. 
getting faster. Eris began to pull slightly harder. We should go faster. The incline gradually steepened as Eris's face could almost touch the ground as she pulled. The slick grass made it wet, a wet slick sound when her feet shot forward. She fell face forward onto the ground and lost her grip with the rope. Deus grunted when he felt the man begin to slide down. He leaned as far as he could to try and keep them from losing progress. Eris sprung up and wiped her face with mud. She grabbed the rope hurriedly. Sorry, try not to slip, it's getting a bit steep. Zeus was too preoccupied with pulling to say anything. The children continued to drag the man up the hill, for what felt like forever. The ever-encroaching thunderous steps continued far behind them. Zeus raggedly sputtered, trying to speak. How tall is, how tall is this hill? I, I can't tell, it's too dark. Thud, thud, thud. The monstrosity's movements grew louder and sounded much faster than before. Zeus's heart was pounding so hard he felt like he was exploding once he wouldn't be enough. Oh, we got a battle royale. There you go. I've never seen been so close to these things. The hill was almost as steep as a flight of stairs. The man's weight is much more difficult to keep up. They were barely making progress compared to when they first began at the hill's ascent. <laughs> Mamba. <laughs> Hales, did you not shoot him a Valentine's message? <laughs> How could you? Zeus struggled to keep his body forward. But you didn't like this ruffle? There's no way we can keep pulling him. Eris grabbed the rope tightly and took the rope off her shoulder. <laughs> Chaos. She quickly twisted around and pulled the man backward. Turn around, it'll be easier. Oh, nice. Zeus followed his suggestion and turned around. I didn't want to catch the Rona. Ah, uh, fair, Mamba, very fair. I've been lurking in your streams, though. <laughs> Nova mimicked him and clumsily twisted his body to face his uncle. She was right. This feels a lot better. Whoa, look at that fucking thing. Minnie, did you do this creature as well? Anyway, did you draw this creature? Have a street kills with the <laughs> Bush Demon has won the Battle Royale. Well, congrats, Bush Demon. I don't have Phasmo. I have it, but I don't play it. Ah, uh, no. Nova screamed, looking ahead of him. His eyes were fixated on the enormous monster that looked like it could reach them in no time. No, you didn't, Minnie? Really? Okay. Zeus could hear the boy begin to sob. I I'm sorry, it's my fault. I, I shouldn't have said I wanted to go. Nova. Furious. A ferocious yell came from behind Zeus. It was almost as scary as the 40 meter high monster chasing them that they couldn't see. Be strong. We're almost there, okay? We'll be fine. Just pull with everything you've got. Noah was sobbing, but he still seemed to put everything he had into it. He's getting too heavy. We need to start going side to side. Without skip to her step, Eris steered slowly into a diagonal path. It wasn't a large difference than before, but Zeus could feel it easier to walk upward walk upward. Unfortunately, the man's weight was weight was wanted by gravity and hindering their diagonal ascension. Once again, rain began to pour furiously. Wind steadily blew up the hill to the children's faces. Barely able to see, they squinted their eyes and pulled in whichever direction led them. This was much easier than when it was flat. Isn't there a regular entrance for this place? I've never been here before either, remember? Thud, thud, thud. The quickened pace of the monster's footstep put Zeus's heart into overdrive. Eris began to rigorously pull upward. I can see it. I can see the top of the hill. Zeus felt like he'd heard the magic words. A second wind had no idea he had come in, had come into play. Nova, as tired as he looked, was still managing to help a good amount. Left, right, left, right. The children zigzagged up the hill as quickly as they could. With each step they took, the hill became more difficult to walk up, even diagonally. The man's weight was too heavy to go sideways, and he was basically all dead weight. Cupcake said this is when Minnie pushed me off the man in. I think I remember that. <laughs> Isn't that Corix's pick? I think I remember that. It was easy for them to pull him up and keep him from sliding while they pulled the sled on the sides of the hill. We have to be getting close now. I can free... Zeus noticed something strange. He was listening for the thunder steps, but there were none. That's when he felt his heart drop. 
Deus was so shook that he instinctively yelled at Eris. How close are we? He looked at him confu confusedly, but he knew something was strange. Deus listened carefully into the silent night. Sound he couldn't mistake. We need to go, right now! Eris looked even more confused until she looked out into the distance. It wasn't the lack of sound that made her recoil. It was the mass of darkness that covered the fields. Damn. Accompanied by the sound of millions of tiny wings and slithering bodies, the pitch black wave surged forward. It rolled over the hills toward the children like a wave of water from a dam. All three of them frantically began to tug and pull the sled, with a couple dozen flying insects zoomed past their heads. Nova cried out when a large insect landed on his forehead. Oh, gross. Ah! Zeus swatted the insect from the boy's head before he could even finish his cry. The man's body also inv had uninvited guests crawling around. Once again, he looked at Eris, who knew even without him saying it. She looked over her shoulder to what remained on the hill. It's rounding off, just a, just a bit more. The ground began to shake violently as the back, black swarm rushed up the hill. A faint white light could be seen shooting out from all directions underneath the swarm. I hate bugs as well, Cupcake. The influ is so far. Eris mumbled as she looked out in the distance. She pulled the rope back. Her steps became easier. Without skipping a beat, she turned around and tried to run up the remaining hill. His ears caught up caught on when he passed the same point and turned around as well. Pull it harder, Mini. <laughs> you weak. <laughs> Uncle double dead. What? <laughs> Finally, is this it? Nova began to tug with all the remaining strength to help Eris and Zeus bring the man up the hill. Sigh, concentrate on your stream, says Mini. <laughs> as soon as the sleds... As soon, as soon as the sled tip into the air, slightly laid flat on the ground, all three of them dropped to the ground. The constant buzzing noise wasn't as bad as before. Knowing that he had made it up the hill, Zaius looked out to the bright contrast that was the town of Rikus. Of course, he could see nothing, but the town's light showing life was nothing was enough to make him happy. Now we just need to d go down. thunderous crack of screeching nearly deafened him. The earth beneath him felt unsteady and the air pressure that blasted him made it impossible to stand. <laughs> Ryuto. Zeus fell to his knees and held his ears until the violent screech ceased. Both Eris and Nova took the same action. Aside from Nova, who was shedding tears, his small body quivered as he laid there. Within seconds, the screech had stopped and its echo could be heard far throughout the plains. Another rumble from the ground of the ground took place, except this time, it didn't seem to get closer. Go stop the sound. I just, that screech is so good, Mini. It's fucking dope. <laughs> are, you, are you okay, Cupcake? Are you alright? It stopped, which means... Deus rushed to get up. Bombing again. We need to go. His body felt tight, but he knew now wasn't the time to give in. You thought I got scared? Me? No. I just, I really love that sound effect. It's fucking great. Oh, cupcake. Well, you've got your family with you here. But we'll, we'll be your family today, if you like. Within the area that deafening noise came from, a large abundance of light rose from the depths of the black swarm. It rose to a height where the insects had to form pillars to keep hold of it. The most spread out parts of the swarm came flooding back toward the light. They formed a massive ball of slithering and wing beating creatures. Welcome back, Durkal. What did you get to eat? I can't remember. The ball of insects crashed down on top of the light and proceeded to cover it almost entirely as if under command. As if under command. Other areas of the swarm formed large limb like pieces and conjured within the center area. <laughs> it is so to you? Oh god. The children didn't have time to watch as their enemy pulled itself together. This was their time to go. 
Right behind them, the city could be seen. There were large structures holding large materials together and plenty of lights and homes and shops. The quick chicken rice. Holy crap, that sounds great, Durkal. As well as a coffee, I could go for that. It all lay in the middle of an increasingly sloped hill. They were nearly there, and descent was only the thing in their way. Eris grabbed a rope as well as the crying Nova's hand and screamed to Zaius, Let's go while we still can. Already part of my plan. Zaius rushed up to the sled and took part of the rope. The two of them began to pull as hard as they could while Nova had given up. For just the two of them, it wasn't as hard as before. The downward slope definitely helped. In fact, it was so easy that they could almost begin to jog as they pulled. The children rushed down, down the hill as carefully as they could. With the unconscious man, the grass was st still slick and there was still light, light rainfall. Taking careful steps was almost impossible as their sled began to catch up to their speed. After the struggle I had in Witcher, I definitely need one. You deserve it, Durkle. Pupcake wants a snake kiss. There, there you go, chat. Pupcake wants a snake kiss from Sai. Eris, we should probably slow down. Eris looked back at the man who was steadily sliding faster. I know, but maybe we can... Uh, a quick shift of the ground beneath them made them lose balance. Another roar from monstrosity whipped out above the children's heads. Nova's small legs gave out when he rumbled, when the rumble happened. He fell to the ground like a brick right in front of Zeus. He knew he wouldn't be able to dodge the boy's body, but because he had just fallen in front of him... What? He knew he wouldn't be able to dodge the boy's body, not because he had just fallen in front of him, but because he was already on his way to the ground himself. Because I thought I'd be funny, Cupcake. <laughs> I mean, I, I won't knock you for wanting some BL. Not at all. I just thought I'd tease you. <laughs> what kind of world could he see? It looked like slow motion. He could see his hands flailing about uselessly as he tried to pinpoint a place to safely land. His body soared over Nova's small body like a skipping rock. He unfortunately did not take into account his legs. He watched as his fo foot slowly mixes with Nova's head as he passed over him. Shit, he like kicks him in the face. Nova's face writhed in pain as his eyes were shut tight. As if the world had gone back to normal space-time standards, Zeus's face plowed to the ground. All he could see was the world violently twisting as he flew down the hill. Eris on the other hand had saved herself from falling, but she couldn't keep her sled from accelerating forward on her own. She looked, for she looked at both Zeus and Nova as they rolled past her, as well as the man helplessly sliding down. Surprise, Surprise wasn't the only expression that appeared on her face. You hungry? Me too, Cupcake. Me too. The hill's decline dipped down and she could no longer just jog. Almost full-on sprint was the only option as she chased bo after both man and children. It is Snickers bar. Maybe later. Several thuds sounded out over the head as she ran down. Oh, there it is. A short glance upward and the massive foot could be seen above her. Brief flashes of light shot out and the strange high-pitched gurgles came from the other sides of the hill. Eris snapped her attention to the town, yet another bright light flashed over her face. A large whitish yellow circle searched over the hill. The source of it was a child offering a large eternal lantern in a tower. She wasted no time to try and get their attention. Help! Far from, ho far, from far away, she could see the child look in her direction. Her eyes brightened as she slowed, down, slowed to keep her eyes steady. The child in the tower's eyes brightened. Immediately after their eyes dimmed, the child tugged on the adult guard next to him. They ran up to the edge of the tower and seemed to be talking to people below. A loud barrage of bells all rang at once from all over the city. A large gate opened below the tower. A large gate opened below the tower opened, and men and women of various ages ran out of all sorts and tools. The women were armed with bags that had a distinct red glow to them. The men had several jars filled with black liquid. Once they came out of the gate, indistinct chatter could be heard from far away. A few fingers pointed in the children's direction, when they, then they all came running at once. Zeus thought he'd throw up from rolling so much. He'd finally reached a point where the hill was no longer steep and he could stop himself with his hands. 
After a couple of tries, he quit rolling successfully. The grey space around him swirled so much he, she, he for sure knew he would puke. Get down! An unfamiliar loud voice erupted from afar. He tried to look in the direction of the voice, but all he saw were small balls of light, faint light flying in his direction. Those lights were actually the glowing bags that the women held. The bags soared over his head one by one. Each woman swung their bag in a circle with a rope. That they, After they had got enough force into the swing, they flung, they flung the bags onto the hill as far as they could. A large amount of slithering insects and bugs poured out from over the top of the hill. Oh, bugs. Oh, look at this beast. It's awesome. It looks phenomenal. Giant slams cracked through the air and the ground as the monstrosity is sent error center area loomed over the hill a dark shadow cast over the children the surrounding base of the field as it brought over a leg a leg over to the side Eris was still behind running down the hill as the men threw the jars over her she ducked to dodge the brittle, brittle glasses of black liquid the jars seemed to be aimed at the bags of red light one of the bags was already covered behind her it gave off a loud whistle before exploding into a fiery ball of purple fire The explosion was not only bright and loud, but it gave off almost the same loud screech the monstrosity did. After the first explosion, more bags scattered over the hill began to whistle loudly. Eris' legs became a blur when several whistles went off at once. She sprinted full speed down the remaining hill. Her face looked stoic and desperate all at once. Zeus was confused as his world was spinning around him. He became even more confused when a pair of blurry hands grabbed at him and lifted him off the ground. Minnie said, Wait, I just realized the monster is forming and became less. You, you don't mean YJ's emote, do you? You're not referring to her emote. I know, I know, Minnie. Um, I appreciate it, actually, Sai. Thank you. Um, What the? Calm down, kid. We're going to get you out of there. Oh no, the monster. <laughs> I was like, I was wondering if you meant they were forming into the emo. It's <laughs> confused. Freaking wondering where the second echo is coming from. Oh, man. <laughs> man buzzing both streams. A deep voice bellowed him. He wanted to get a peek at who, he, who, who was ca casually carrying him. But all he could see was the back of the trot of his legs. Run, girl, run. A bunch of women yelled from nearby. Soon after, they yelled. A series of explosions all went off at once in a fiery mushroom of purple. The creature's foot was right above it and flew upward from the force of the blast. A loud screech erupted from both the explosion and the monster. Zeus looked around as he covered his ears. Three men were running with him, running with the man wrapped like a mummy, and another one held, another one of them held Nova like he was a tote bag. As the entire group ran back toward the gate, Zeus saw the giant creature screech one last time in protest. It roared at the artificial screech of the exploded bags and retreated away from the hill. A rain of black goop rained from the sky. Gobs of insects bundled together fell all over the place. That's gross. <laughs> Cupcake. <laughs> it did midi. <laughs> the sight of the gross the grass disappearing as the large wooden gates closed was the last thing he saw before he was thrown to the ground. Ah, th thank you, but that was that necessary? You should count your blessings, kid, that there was a there was a watch out today. The large man who carried him spat. Like size follow command. Uh, follow alert. The monster is amazing. It's forming. Yeah, it looks great. I love it. Minimus forming. <laughs> Eris was right next to him on the ground, breathing heavily. Thank, thank you. Zeus didn't feel like arguing with his saviors. He was just glad he could take some shelter and rest. Did you? Zeus sniffed his nose. Finally, shelter. I'm so hungry. Hey! Dude, this is awesome. Thank you for playing Distant Leaps to Cyrus, Cicinus Demo. Please give us feedback. You can click here to answer the survey. Yes, I will. Mamba, we've been at it for a bit. Uh, we've been playing this for almost three hours. <laughs> Dude, that was awesome. Thank you, Cupcake. I will sit upright. Whew. Thank you all for hanging out. Um, again. 
check out the link do it play the demo yourself if you want to see it from the very beginning it has a very interesting intro i really liked the uh, i really liked it um uh, there's the official Twitter there as well. Glad you liked it. I realized stuff too while watching that you never noticed before. Oh, there you go. I mean, I'm glad you did. I, I enjoyed it. My voice is a bit hoarse and I feel it. So I'm probably going to have read somebody in end stream and try and rest my voice for the, for the day. Um, not going to do any Dark Souls today, I'm afraid. Um, so yeah. But no, I enjoyed it a lot. Um, the minimum <laughs> Yeah, thank, thanks for letting me play it on stream, Mini. Um, hey, Afro Duck, how you doing? Thank you for the shout out, Sai. The animation is looking great, Sai. Also, you're adorable, Sai. Uh, Kale's improved from key design to nice design. That's not me. <laughs> how you doing, Afro? Um, yeah, that, that was awesome. I liked it a lot. Uh, it was a little rough on my voice. <laughs> But all those like action scenes and stuff were really exciting to kind of to to voice. I really enjoyed those. They're, they're a lot of fun when like the pace like picks up, and it gets like exciting and like intense, and uh, you get to voice that. It's really really fun. <laughs> Minimum just pushing up mount. Um, yeah, I'm 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 gonna do the usual close out close out chat. Um, not too bad, been lurking a little while, was sucked in and didn't want to... Hey, no worries, Afro. It's all good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm, I'm glad that everyone seems to be enjoying it. Um, even Sai was listening in his stream. That's awesome. Thank you, Durkal. Um, oh, my voice. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you, Kales, for the gifted sub to Swaggy and Infa. Thank you very much, Kales. Thank you, Rio TV, for the follow. Thank you, Sai, for all of the shout outs. Thank you very much, Sai. Um, hey, no worries, Kales. It, it was a lot of fun. What if you read a scary story? I, I mean, so. I, I. I. I don't know. I mean, I've talked about this before. A scary novel. You want me to give it a try? I could try at some points, Sai. Maybe, maybe maybe in October. Um, I, I wanted to turn Hachi Shaku-sama's origin story into a visual novel. I actually have a script all set out and everything. I just need like the art assets for it and uh, to clean to polish up the programming a bit, the code. Um, it's not going to be as scary as you imagine. I I, ima I imagine, but uh, but yeah, I like Hachi Shaku. So. Uh, thank you, Durkle, for the raid. Thank you very much, Durkle. Thank you, Angenity, for the gifted sub to Spa, Angel, and Udon. Thank you very much. And Maru, thank you for the follow. How are you doing, Maru? Are you, are you good? Um, and thank you for the, the sub with Prime. Maru, Maru, he's the Shiba-chan. Maru, did you see that fan art of you, you, uh, you, me, much, and um, silent the other day that Sai drew? <laughs> How you doing, Maru? Uh, and yes, and Jenny, thank you for the resub of, of Prime. Five months. Thank you very much, Annie. Very beautiful. It's fucking awesome. Thank you for the host, Mini, and the Raid Scorpion, and Soft Quawa for the follow. Uh, thank you all. Um, and I know who we're going to raid. Uh, yeah. Hey, no worries, Mini. I, I had a lot of fun. Honestly, it was great. Um, again, chat, if you want to play it for yourself from the beginning, uh, check it out. And shout outs to Minima, who did the character artwork. And uh, shout outs to Kales for doing the, um, the programming. Um, this menu is fucking baller. I was really impressed. And it looks so pretty with the rain effects on. Honestly, it's so gorgeous. You've got a little bit of info about the world of the plot. I read this at the beginning of the stream, but I'll read it again now. Distant Leaps to Cisnus is about a world of mysteries. A century has gone by since humanity nearly wiped all life from the earth. Their lust for power and progress tempted them to tamper with an unknown entity and, and in turn brought forth an enigma of change. The weather, animals, physics, and even humans had all taken new forms. 
What does the compass planet Circinus offer to the children who were born upon its lands? What is the true nature of the second sun? The lives of all living creatures are changed forever in an unforgiving world of rings. Enormous creatures roam the land, made up of the very of life that they were given. Crystals with entirely different elements bring functionality and mystery to the world. Land masses that triumph the, con the continents of the past world float along an un-understood un un axis, carrying the lives of millions with them. Children who can communicate in ways not known to anyone but them. Check that, check that out, chat. You can scroll for the rest of the info on the team. Oh, yes. Ah, there you go. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Kales. I didn't know. <laughs> Kales, team leader, writer, uh, GUI. Is that like general user interface programming? Minima, CG, and Sprite Artist. Azuremi, CG Sprite Artist. There you go. Azuremi's worked on this. Alan Limsey, background artist. W Mag, background artist. Stefan Stepaneko, Fauna Artist, GTD Carthage, Concept Artist, Toa, whoop, Toa Artist, Luke Thomas, Music, Fabio Mascioni Music, Crisis Bass Music, Eon Music, Sol Solatre Veren Nicholas Music, Winged Few Music, Alex Shear Music, Reed Raymer Music, Droid Studio Sound Effects. Where's the U credit Kales? It <laughs> what? Minimum. <laughs> That's funny, Angel. That's really funny. It made me. <clears throat> I'll smother you in death. Oh 